and welcome on into the stream, everyone. How are you all doing? Really glad to see everyone. It's been far too long since our last proper Warhammer stream. We've had a few Helldivers ones to try to keep me from being too rusty here, but those went, and they went about as well as you could expect. Hey, just yes. Hey, Brian. Hey, Skaven, man. Glad to see you all. Hey, Francia as well. So you'll probably notice that we aren't playing who I said we were in the poll. Hey, Coder. Welcome on in. From uh, the poll, we were voting for Karak Kadrin. Uh, but I had decided, kind of last night late in an epiphany, that there are so many new Slayer uh, units coming with the DLC that it would be a shame to not show them all off with the proper Slayer King, as well as his son coming as a legendary hero, a Gergrum Iron Fist. So... We'll, we'll show off uh, Ungrum as a stream probably once the uh, once the embargo for the DLC actually drops. So for today, we'll be showing off the dwarf changes with the High King himself, Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Short. That goes in the book. I cannot actually show off any of Malachi's stuff at all. I have to aggressively keep myself from clicking on his, uh, his icon here. I was, I was even... They're just debating on not even starting up on this screen because the uh, desire to check out Malachi is so high. So what I will do is just kind of read through a bit of these, uh, just kind of all the faction effects and things, and we'll we'll start on up. So for any who don't know, Thorgrim, your High King, Thorgrim continues his Age of Reckoning, setting out to crush those with unanswered transgressions, starting with those in the shadow of Everpeak itself. Uh, we're at our Karazakarak with the starting army of some Dwarf Warriors, some Miners, uh, some Longbeards with great weapons that are actually going to be the Grudge Settler variant, which we'll get more into on, on the screen, or in our in the uh, campaign itself. We've got some hammerers, which are also going to be grudge settlers, so they've got a few different effects than normal with magical attacks and frostbite. Again, we'll get into this in a moment. If you've seen the Great Book of Grudges video on the Dwarf rework, uh, you'll already know, but for those who don't, we'll try to give it our best. We've also got a team of quarrelers, which are great, and then some gyro bombers, which you'll notice have four models instead of just one, which is terrifying. Yeah, I'm not trying to have the black helicopter show up. They actually have a, a line straight with the CIA. I would I would disappear immediately. But four gyro bombers is great. I think they still have the exact same amount of missiles as before, uh, bombs as well. So uh, this should be a, a lot of fun. Uh, all of the helicopters have uh, increased models. So we'll see with the gyrocopters as well. They went from four to 12, which is terrifying. Uh, so for our faction effects, we've got 20 extra diplomatic relations with all of the other dwarfs, uh, less upkeep for ha uh, longbeards and hammers by 15%, a extra recruit rank for hammers by 3, and then all of our commandments are going to have more powerful effects. I believe it's close to double for everything. For our lord effects, we've got 75% more leadership aura size uh, for big boy Thorgrim. Uh, we've got Gordian for all hammers in his army, and then 15% more resistance, so we're going to want to use as many hammers as possible and drown them in a tide of bonk. Indeed, the dwarves have changed themselves over to being the United States Air Force. So we're going to be starting in Karazakarak, and I will also read through this lore, and we'll just dive on in. So Thorgrim Grudgebear is the current king, or high king, of the dwarves. He is a throwback to the high kings of old. Eager for new conquests, mighty in battle, and a merciless enemy. Yet upon his worn brow, there also sits a great wisdom, and he is able to uphold the ancient traditions as well as to accept, if not embrace, needed changes, such as alliances and new technology. Orgrim is forever brooding upon how to return his people to their former glory. As the ultimate ruler of the dwarfs, the great book of grudges is entrusted into his keeping. Is Thorgrim's avowed wish to avenge every single contained in that voluminous home. It is an impossible task if he should live a thousand lifetimes, yet such is his resolve that it is already helped rejuvenate the whole of Kara, the Kara's Encor. Tales of his deeds and the long lists of grudges already struck out fill his grim warriors with a feeling that the dwarfs will have long done without hope. Oh, we have messed that on up a bunch. Either way, born upon the throne of power and brandishing the axe of Grimnir, Thorgrim is at the forefront of what the dwarfs hope will be a great conquering, a new age of retribution. And with the dwarf rework, they are all about setting out and striking out those wrongs. Let's get to it. We are playing on very hard, very hard. I didn't change any of my settings, so I believe all of the... Oh, we should have showed that off. I always forget. Still love the old school uh, DAWI loading screen. So we've got changes to the Great Book of Grudges. 
we've got a change to the overall grudge system and how those work and then there are the reworks to the gyrocopters which would be awesome i've got a fly that has now found its way into the room which mochi is attempting to snatch out of the air please be careful you're gonna hook me I was skilled enough, I would avail you with some woven battle songs. Don't forget about the yeah, indeed the underway network. So yep, that's one of the things that we will be able to do as well, and that is, is actually in the Great Book of Grudges, so I'll be able to show that all off at the same time. March on, brave Dowie! March on! March on! Alright, so we'll be defeating enemy armies and settlements to earn settled grudges and gain benefits from each Age of Reckoning. So different factions are going to be building up grudges. It is usually most built up in the Greenskins and the Skaven, uh, but any old faction can build up grudges against the Dwarves because that's how grumbly they are. Uh, and as you take out those, uh, settlement, or those armies or settlements, you gain whatever the stack of those grudges are. Uh, that's going to build up towards the brand new Age of Reckoning here, which is at the top. Where as you do settle those grudges, you'll be filling up your Age of Reckoning bar, and as you hit certain landmarks, or certain milestones, uh, you will gain different effects. The first two are going to be mostly negatives, uh, but with the if you at least make it into the Scruff uh, rank, you'll start getting some Grudge Settler units, which we'll go into in just a moment as well. We start off with a few of them, but those are basically just your normal dwarf units that have been augmented slightly, and you were able to recruit them through a mercenary recruitment for no gold. They do cost upkeep, but they are free to recruit, which is uh, pretty insane. Uh, so we'll show off. First Age of Reckoning is Elgi, which you'll have lose control, growth, and have a 100% increased upkeep for our Grudge Settlers, which we're likely dealing with now. Uh, next we'll have Scruff, which we will have if we get up to... 3,900 grudges settled, which is quite a few. They don't want you to make it all the way up to the max tier right off the bat because you were able to spawn in a temporary army of grudge settlers, and this is an in-game army that usually is filled with all sorts of nasty stuff. So the second tier is Scruff, which still has you negative for control, growth, and upkeep, but a little bit less. Uh, Throm gives you a little bit more in terms of you finally start getting some positives with one control, 10 growth, and then more grudge settlers, stronger units as well. A tier above that, which I guess is not going to actually show us how much we need to get to each tier at the moment until we actually uh, succeed in the next one, which is fine. We'll get to that. we got 3 extra control, 25 growth, less upkeep, and even stronger units. Up to the last tier, which is insane, and then gives you that temporary army of uh, mass grudge settlers. Indeed, it is a snowball mechanic. You're, we're become more like the greenskins and corn where we are rewarded for doing battle because you actually have 10 turns to fill the bar uh, before it actually resets back to zero and you actually have to fill it up with even more grudges than last time there's even a mechanic where you can delay the age so if you get up to the age of reckoning and you want to keep it there for longer you can delay it for a certain number of turns with an event but then you'll have to get 20 percent more grudges on top of the initial increase so it is uh it scales up and gets much more difficult as you go on but you are rewarded for being very aggressive. So we got the Trespassing Greenskin Grudge to start. Uh, but the Great Book of Grudges has also been reworked, where now we've got these legendary grudges, legendary lords, and grudge settlers. So for your 10 legendary grudges you start off with, these are just going to be kind of the main objectives for your campaign, where once you complete them, you'll gain a huge chunk of reward. So for this first one here, we take the realms, which is basically just securing the mountain passes that you were supposed to I guess initially call part of your empire once you retake all of that you restore the underway network and are able to actually teleport around to certain tele uh, certain settlements in the uh, the areas I haven't actually secured the realms just yet so I hopefully be able to check this out together once you do you also gain 2500 settled grudges which is great you got the final war of vengeance for taking out Avalorn, Ivress, and Etain and ensuring the dwarves control Lo uh, Lothurn, Tor of Rest, and the Gain Vale. You'll get a special landmark building in Vol's Anvil and some more subtle grudges. For Karak Zorn's Scorn, 
uh, Yilge have to destroy the Order of Lore Masters, the Drakenhof Conclave, the Last Defenders, the Court of Labaris, and the Exiles of Korn. And then you'll have to construct the Hall of Ancestors, which will give you a heap of oath gold and some subtle grudges. Uh, and actually, any of the dwarf factions that are currently active, minor and major, can contribute towards these legendary grudges, which is awesome. So you can play a uh, co-op campaign with your friends and try to cross off these grudges as fast as possible. Uh, for, we'll just keep going on, on down the rest of the grudges here. We've got the Thagaraki Menace. Uh, so dealing with the Skaven, if we destroy Clan Scryer and Clan Mulder and control Hellpit and Skaven Blight, we'll be able to call the Miners, which allows all of our armies, in our own territory at least, uh, to summon two minor units like they would be the Skaven, which I'm pretty sure is a aspect of SFO and has been a modded unit for quite some time. It's a ton of fun to be able to use. Turns you into a monster menace. We've got the Fallen Ones here where we need to destroy the Chaos Dwarves. We've got the Disciples of Ashut, Conclave, uh, Overlords of Zarduk, Legion of Asgore, and then also Grimgore's Ard Boys, which will give us the Underway Network in Uzkulak and Karakazhorn, and give us a Dwarf Ancestor Relic. I think it's a complete random one. It'd be great if it gave you the whole cluster, but I haven't managed to destroy the Chaos Dwarves. We'll see if we can get this on today as well. We've got the Forest Elgi taking out Talzin, Argwylan, and then controlling all of Athel Lorin will give us a unique landmark building and the Oak of Ages, as well as some more settled grudges. We've got the Umgi of Chaos, which will have us controlling a good deal of Norska and the Chaos Waste as well. And then we'll have a cooldown after underway network travel, negative three turns. You'll be able to travel around much faster. So your dwarf armies will become horrifyingly quick. We'll be able to flash up all over the map. The Elgi Oathbreaker is for dealing with the Dark Elves. We've got to take out Nagaron, Cult of Pleasure, and Harganeth, and then control Nagarond, and then a unique Dwarf Lord is added to your recruitment pool, who is all about Longbeards. He's all about building up a pretty scary Doom Ball of the, uh, the Greybeards. So we've got the Carrick Eight Peaks Grudge for destroying Crooked Moon and Clan Moors, and then controlling Eight Peaks. This will give us two extra unit capacity for those Grudge Seller units per army. And then for the Shame of Silver Pinnacle, we have to control Silver Pinnacle and control or build up the Sealed Tombs, which will give us the upgrade for the Sealed Tombs in the Silver, uh, the Silver Pinnacle itself. They will become very fast for a dwarf. You just put them on a minecart, they become light speed. Especially since we are now putting the gyrocopter engines on our, uh, our lovely uh, minecarts. So for those Grudge Settler units, when you do hit those tiers, you are able to recruit from these this mercenary pool here, which is just kind of a collection of different Adawi units, but they are upgraded, so I'll kind of mouse over. So for your hammers, which we've already got a unit of, uh, they've got magical attacks and frostbite, so whoever does throw down with them is going to be going nowhere. And if they do decide to try to disengage, they will be easy targets for our gyro bombers and our quarrelers don't think they have any additional skills beyond, but I am not a Zawi main, so if you see anything extra, go ahead and point it on out. Slanesh will be jealous of the pure might of the minecart, indeed. For the Longbeards there, which we also have a unit of, which has been changed from my initial beard a little bit, before we had a unit of uh, normal Longbeards. So these guys have... Not sure what's different on the Grudge set of the Longbeards. For our Slayers, though, we've got good old Sundered Armor, which is fantastic, and they now have the Slayer tag. They like the already have, but again, I said, I'm, I'm not quite a Dawi main, so a lot of this is fairly new to me on top of the lovely rework. Got your Iron Drakes, which getting more Iron Drakes is always great. Got your Quarrelers Grudge Settlers, which have a bonus versus infantry of eight which is terrifying and shield breaker so these are the scariest crawlers around we'll have the gyrocopters with troll hammers which is terrifying and you can see there are 12 gyrocopters now you just have hidden stats including a weapon at swing speed so it's sometimes the case of the attack faster oh i see that would make sense. Thanks for pointing that out. For our grudge throwers that are the grudge seller variant, they actually have the monstrous impact 
uh, debuff that your Dreadquake Mortars have. So he'll be slowing the enemies to a near crawl. This works on allies too, so be quite careful. And then you've got the Flame Cannons, which are Flame Cannons. Dousing enemies in magma is always good fun. And that's that. We also have a rework to the technology tree, where instead of that great big web you had before, we've got now two tiers. The guilds tier, which is going to be mostly about building up your settlements and just your, your normal old economy. And then the clans tab, which is going to be about your soldiers themselves. You've got different tiers where you have to research a certain number of technologies before moving to the next tier. And then there are also certain areas that are marked off with uh, Oath Gold. So you will be building up a lot more Oath Gold than you need, or you will at least be needing a lot more Oath Gold than before, as it's going to be in your research tree, as well as just your building up the forge, which is not actually going to be available to us until we actually attain that 200 Oath Gold. So we are going to be uh, beating the brakes off of everyone we can and yoinking their things and melting it down at Oath Gold. Are they actually meaningful? We can mouse over a few of them. I am going to grab me a drink and meat real quick, and I'll kind of mouse over a few of these, uh, these upgrades. I found that it's actually pretty good. They've, they have consolidated quite a few of them. Some of them are exactly the same. Uh, this first one here is Way of the Guilds, which gives us a little bit more relations with dwarfs, which is, is what it is. I'll be right back after I snack a drink. But really, it's, they've done a good deal of consolidating. But I think in terms of are they good upgrades, uh, yes, most of them are, are pretty fantastic. There are likely tweaks that you all might suggest, but I haven't found any myself. Mostly because of Monkey Brain. Grungni's blessing from just more income. Population surplus for newly captured settlements sounds amazing. Extra diplomatic relations is what it is, if they haven't built up any grudges, that is. We are going to be bullying most factions here with Thorgrim. For our clan upgrades here. Recruitment cost, your normal upgrades for Quarrelers and Rangers. Upgrades for Iron Drakes and the Steam variant. You got your upgrades for your Thunderers, and it says Slayer Pirates as well. The top portion is going to be for the melee units, which doesn't have anything for Slayers yet. This is only going to be Miners and Warriors. It's also the Longbeards are upgraded as well, because it says anyone with great weapons. Orge Reflection for Great Weapons, Shield Wall for Shielded Warriors. We need to work on this immediately. They do indeed have a formation that they actually will form into, which changes how they look. So it gives them more mass, a little bit more missile block chance, missile resistance, and they can't run. The Thunderers have some really good buffs for range, upkeep production, and pretty good, actually, double range. For the Warriors Guild is where you get into your Slayers and a little bit more of the Elite Units. So cooldown on Rune Units or Rune Abilities, Shared Cooldown for all Rune Magic, Royal Guard is for Hammers and Iron Breakers, Armor, Shield Wall of Gromril, which is going to give them Ballistic Plating, clad in heavy plates designed to specifically protect against projectiles. This unit is uh, capable of deflecting even direct cannon fire. Well, this we've got to test, don't we? And I can see some dwarves sitting there. Boy, shoot me in the chest! Gonna test out your Grom Rail. Slayers get, looks like, 20% more speed, less vigor, or vigor reduction. Melee attack and defense, and then Whirlwind of Death ability, allowing them to vortex about for Doom Seekers. So they will indeed have chain axes. For our gyrocopters, let's see if they have any good 
abilities down there for them. Extra replenishment, upkeep, vanguard deployment is always great. These guys with the extra models have just become fantastic harassers. I bet they will twirl a little bit different than the Night Goblin fanatics, the being that they are Doom Seekers, and the fanatics are incredibly high on shrooms. Just a thought. Uh, we are going to come on in. So let's start off by getting those heavy current stones. So we'll go away at the guilds for this the first turn, and then five turns of research. Sounds good. Or Karazagrag itself will immediately go for the upgrade. Make it an outpost. Has some pretty nasty defenders already. And it's also going to go ahead and upgrade the, uh, the projectiles for our towers. So we don't even have to use the walls for that. That is amazing. Builds right on in. Gym mine shaft will give me some money. We don't need gold at the moment. We can go ahead and put the gym mine shaft in once the main provincial capital actually levels up. And I'm going to throw in the trading depot now, which will give us 10 oath gold a turn. Yeah, the Trinket Maker has been changed. I think all of the buildings have been a little bit reworked. Uh, so the Toolmaker's Guild Hall is now going to drop construction cost for all buildings. Give us income, I think. I'm not going to speculate too much because, again, I'm not a Dawi player. So we'll just go on in and grab Trading Depot. I think that the reworks, though, we might, we might be converted pretty quickly. Anything else we can get up to before our first battle? I think yes. not. Tom Philipson is a master engineer with a specific trait that is unique to him. But this might have always been the case. He's got the engineer cipher where he's got 30% less cooldown for restock, 10% more research rate, a black powder aplenty, and then extra uses for that restock ability. Graphic settings, we can definitely check on that. Absolutely. Here you are. And actually, this is another perfect opportunity. I have done burn through my coffee in my nerves, so I'll be right, right back. King acts. Ready, accept. Indeed, thank you for calling it out. Good old Mike, because I've been sitting here talking to myself the whole time. Blasting charges spam seems kind of boring. I I agree. I'm not the biggest fan of any kind of doom stacks. So furious because of the grudge speaker. That goes in the book. This darn Mike. Now it's my own. I, I muted it to jump up, and I forgot to unmute it when I came back. And so instead, we just sat there and talked to ourselves. Got to set up our crossbows. We'll show off the quadruple uh, gyro bomber in a second. I like keeping them kind of up 
We'll blast away at these goblin archers. And we'll let the Arthur archers be about fighting all our uh, parlors here. The beauty of live streams, I appreciate it. Get the hammers in behind here. I'd like them to throw down with the biggins. And then we've got the long beards, which is an insane, an insane upgrade. Because before when I was playing this at the start, you get some normal old Dawi. A warrior with great weapons. These guys are much better. They're really angry. I'm very glad we don't have the old school uh, games workshop model for the, the, the dwarves where they are just uh, basically a beard, a head, and two like, hands and feet. I guess they didn't even have feet, did they? They just have beards. Little blob people running on around. Got our quarrelers. Gotta love the dwarves. I haven't played them nearly enough, but this shall change things, especially with the upcoming units. I haven't gotten to see any of them other than what was shown off in the trailer itself. You can see quite a few of the ones for the, uh, the dwarves, including the Doom Seekers. There's one in the background that's kind of whirling an axe. Kind of when the initial Spirit of Rungni shows up. It's really in the background, but you, you can see it just barely. A high king. High King himself, who has re received quite a few buffs in all of the different reworks. He is so much better than he used to be. Then our Gyro Bombers, which are now in a Armada. Like information, and these guys are terrifying. Gyro Bombers were already, already decent before on campaign. Now in squads of four, they are a nightmare. Right, we'll get the lads of the units even if they don't necessarily need to be. Let's get this going. I'm gonna have the quarrelers in guard mode because I tend to have them sprint into combat like a fool. Let's get it. We'll keep our hill and flank up on them with the helicopters. Even while playing dwarfs, I'm pretty pretty aggressive. take a position here and they should start moving towards us. As soon as our quarrelers can hit their air boys, we are in a good spot. And moving up. Have our engineer start firing on the war boss. Let's get these uh, machine guns cooking. They'll blast into the biggins. And actually, let's have them start giving some bombing runs. They've got enough armor they can handle some air boys. And bombing. Not as much damage as they used to do because there's four of them. But if you get a direct hit, it is always going to be lovely. Advanced second group a little bit more there. Get those bombs dropping. So lovely. They're moving in before they actually impact the uh, orcs here, but don't have a lot of a lot of choice. Go ahead and drop. Ooh, missed the uh, drop this clown's defenses. Go ahead and lock in our quarrelers. Slow mo bombing. I think we need some. Lovely. Is it fair? Absolutely not. We're dwarfs. Hit him with another one. It looks so amazing though, doesn't it? The doom of the greenskins. Alright, we'll get back to normal. They've already taken plenty of damage from me uh, goofing around. Retreat there. They don't have the most armor. We'll change that over time here. I guess the Quarrelers decided to stop firing on their Air Boy teams like I asked them to, so we'll fix that up. 
Also give it another bombing run, because they can fire while moving, so we don't even necessarily have to worry about it. We roll the flank, have the miners go back and deal with these air boys. Oh, helicopter straight around. And bombing run. Try not to hit the hammers any. Or Grim's bullying the enemy lord there. Smash directly into the hammers, but they can handle it. Bromrill is mastercrafted. Beautiful. Orcs destroyed. And we managed to goof off at the same time. Here, you guys hang out. No reason to have you keep chasing. You dwarf warriors are too slow. It's not that you're short, you're just a little slower than the orcs. Keep sniping here, speed things up. We'll take out as many of them as we can. I guess we can go for a few more bombing runs. Oh yeah, we're going to get... Ooh, missed that a little bit. With what I've learned from the Cathayan campaign here, we have some pretty horrifying capabilities by making it uh, mostly box formations, letting all of the orcs or whatever we're fighting kind of blob up on those boxes. Uh, our infantry can flank, and then the bombing units can then come over the top and bop fools on the head. It is great. Shoot a few more of these guys. Manage. Definitely want to take as many captives as possible. These machine guns are doing great. All right, that's that. Glorious first battle. Sure, we've got twenty-two people here. It's a more than I've ever had in a stream. Thank you all so much. Deployed six six six. That's not. Concerning. The gyro bomb ability you can use is the keyboard shift one to quickly spam. Thank you for letting me know there. Is that a, I will have to keep that in mind. I've got a few of the, the hotkeys memorized for gameplay, but not all. I'll have to keep that one in mind, especially for the the dwarves here. Is that for any of the first abilities that is on the list? I'm betting so. 131 kills for our gyro bombers here, which is fantastic. Appreciate that, Brian. Really do. All right, so we lost 24. Not anywhere near as many as a Nash Rack, but they're every single fallen dwarf is going in the book on your head there, Bloody Spears. We're executing and looting this group immediately. Uh, attracting replacements, I believe, is a new thing that dwarves can do, uh, where they can actually replenish their army like everyone else can. So after a battle, you are able to not just sit there and be sad if your troops have uh, taken a lot of casualties. Shift one, two, three, etc. Oh, awesome! While I'm probably not going to get beyond the uh, the shift one for now, I will definitely try to keep those in mind. Always want to get better. Uh, so execute and loot for now before the oath gold and actual treasury. Completed our first mission. Huzzah. 500 gold into our treasury, and we will take immediately the grudge against the foul. More leadership and melee attack when fighting against greenskins, ogres, and skaven. Allows to clear these mountains out very quickly. And then from there, I'm going to move down through the blue line and his red line. That way we can get our troops up and running. And then the... Final one here with Inquiring Mind for more research rate and a lovely little drop to our upkeep. I don't think there was actually any changes to Thorgrim's skills for the rework, but I will still mouse on over just in case. So we've got Ancient Bloodline for more control, growth, less corruption. Elite Enforcer for more Thanes, Recruit Rank for Thanes, and less upkeep for our Longbeards and Hammerers. Dropping, I think, by 30% total now, which is awesome. Fire support, 10% research rate, and then those Master Engineer capacity and upgrades. Both gold buildings, runesmiths and upgrades for those runesmiths. And then the High King ability, so we've got the Age of Reckoning Grudge Settler unit army size plus three, so we have more units in that uh, Age of Reckoning Grudge Settler army once you actually do manage to get to that final tier. And then we've got the High King passive ability, so more melee attack and damage for everyone in range, as long as he's throwing down himself. 
High King's hands got to be ready to E for everyone. For the final point here, we've got right the wrongs. So we've got 20% more movement range after winning a battle, and then unbreakable when fighting against enemies with 1,000 plus grudges for his own army, and perfect vigor for the same, which, as long as you're fighting with someone against someone with a ton of grudges, you will be a nightmare. An unbreakable, untiring nightmare. Awesome. Let's get to bringing down the Pillars of Grungni. Destroy them! We've got some, uh, we've got some gobos. We've got at least one unit of orc boys and some wolf raiders. That means uh, it's going to be gyro bomber on a wolf raider team. While our quarrelers deal with the archers. Let's get to it. Clearing out our holds. I had to throw a feast for the victory. Go to the next battle drunk. Indeed. Except for uh, my drink of choice apparently is death wish coffee which is delicious but not quite the same I also have to hope that the shift one is not one of my hotkeys I've assigned to uh, OBS which would be a nightmare so I've got some setup for shifting between the different scenes since Hell Divers was difficult and didn't want to let me just mouse over quickly and do it like I can here with Warhammer. Alright, so I think we want to set up kind of over here in the middle of the road. We aren't fast enough to get into the woods and they will use it to their advantage more than we can, so we'll set up with our miners. Behind, just in case they do manage to flank. Keep Longbeards back here in the back. I want to try to convince them they can go through the center, where Thorgrim will be waiting. Nothing you can't fix with a, a 50 cal slug. Units in their groups. I'm going to have the gyro bombers come off the side here. I think keeping them in a square formation will be best for bombing runs. Alright, infantry. Engineer goes with Thorgrim. I've just the quarrelers in guard mode, so they're not running up and getting shivved in the neck. Let's be about this. Since they're not going to advance, I'll take a better position myself. So the gyro bomber's up to bully the wolf riders, and I will just have him do the same. Chugga chugga. What should we call our gyro bombers? They basically have the A-10 gun on the front. It's not quite the same, but it's very similar. The Dwarven A-10 strafing run. Let's make sure they are heading this squad off. We're going to rotate a little bit here. because We're not quite fast enough to get to position. This group starts firing on the Wolf Raiders. Let's pull back a little bit because those archers should be able to start firing. We just don't want to be in their range. I want to keep harassing the wolf raiders. Move our other units forward. Miners up. And then we'll start moving everyone else in. So Hammer as you move up and smash them. They sh there's no way they get past both. If they do, I will be prepared to eat my words. Ready with the shift one. Die. Die. Oh, this is fantastic. You poor, poor fools. We're here to claim these holds back. You goons are in our way. All right, Hammer, as you get on in there, let's go ahead and stop the melee defense on these orc boys here. Strongest guys they have. We have one more set of bombing run. Let's make sure that we get the blob. So you guys come over here and charge this group. Crossbows, you deal with the archers. Let's get this huge blob here. Oh, they're splitting up. What is going on? Oh, maybe be getting hit, so it's slowing them down. 
Come on through. A little bit of friendly fire. It's still great, though. Uh, so come on over. We'll just blast it to the side. Charge of the gym cutters. Where, honestly, a pickaxe to the back of the head would feel just awful for a moment. Indeed. Always assume my uh, lads are slow. I, I absolutely will. I didn't think we left our, our flank too exposed there. I was leaving these goblins, letting them come on in for a reason, since they're, they're not really tough enough to throw down with our long beards, but I will definitely keep in mind. Batman delivery team. Now, these guys are just uh, big boned. Next time, though, we definitely won't let our hammerers go all the way out after. We're going to pull back around quick more fast so that way they're not chasing the wolf raiders all the way off the map like they don't need to. Let's go send the gyro bombers into melee. Maybe not in the woods. Let's go this way. So you can still shoot stuff on the way by. We'll spread them out since we're no longer needing to be in uh, bombing run formation. They're about our only unit that we can use to chase anyone down. I haven't actually restocked them even once. Now a welcome to being a mage of the guild. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to be able to start using the uh, Thunder Barges as well. They're not quite the ones that we got with uh, the Age of Reckoning where they got the double, double blimp, but I still love them. And from watching Milk and Cookies video, they look insane. I haven't been brave enough to go fight Malachi in any of my uh, other campaigns. Something I need to do, though. Because we were actually able to show off fighting against the other uh, the new factions. We just aren't able to play them. You move over here. He's actually made it all the way across the field. You get over here and uh, restock our uh, gyro bombers would be great. Come on in for a refuel. Mess them up. And I never mind any kind of uh, tips being chucked at us while we're playing here. So no worries. If your advice is something I do not like, I'll simply ignore it. Well, thank you for it all the same, because any kind of advice is something I'm going to at least take on and use for our strategies going forward. We didn't need to chase off all those lads. This was a settlement battle, but I'm crazy. And used to doing it for our for our campaigns. 286 kills here for our gyro bombers. They are leveling up quite nicely. The other most kills going to our longbeards. If I had turned the quarrelers a little bit faster, we would have scythed through these archers. There probably wouldn't have been any of them actually that made it away. Would you all think we're getting thankful? It's almost guaranteed, but when is the answer? Will he be a free LC? Do the gyro missiles have AP? Uh, I believe so. We can check here in a second, though. We only lost 23 for that battle and grabbed a potion of toughness. I will be stacking the Pillars of Grungni for that Oath Gold. Which we're going to be doing a heck of a lot more than I normally would. Come right on back in and claim it now. And then we shall quickly repair up the Pillars. They've already got the Barley Field in, so Dwarven Beer should be flowing quite soon. Wait, now you wanted me to check on the Armor Piercing. They do indeed. Let's see just how much, though. So it's 4 base, 16 armor piercing, and 14 base explosive. Uh, they've got less armor piercing explosive, more armor piercing on the initial hit. Which does make sense. And they will also be suppressing enemies they hit by 
So dropping their movement speed by 30%, which is great. Allowing your any of your other artillery or range units to take away at them. Settle a few grudges with the Chaos Dwarves. I definitely will there, Gobble Girl. They actually, surprisingly enough, don't start with many. We'll, we'll see in a moment. They don't start with many grudges, and it's probably because we're just trying to ignore the fact that they even exist. But they don't start with many. It will build up pretty quickly, but... It's strange. Let's grab Inspiring Presence to start. We get building up some experience and some more leadership. Ready. And then for Thom, increasing mobility sounds great, but also making sure our missiles are that much stronger. We'll do mobility first and then break open the casks. Oh yes, there there is indeed a, a great big grudge, but what I kind of meant was if you come on over and see the individual units, they'll have kind of a number of grudges they have. And for whatever reason, the uh, the Chaos Storm is just going to start with, with near zero. Yes, absolutely you do. Uh, which is uh, over here. The Fallen Ones. Taking out Disciples of Hashut, Conclave, uh, Legion of Asgore, Zarduk, and Grimgore's Hard Boys will restore the underway and give you an Ancestor Relic. Which is great. Other awesome change is that you can actually recruit in your normal Dwarf Warriors. Through, I'll just show it off in the building browser, through your initial first building. So instead of just being the miners, or where you would see uh, if you're playing as any of the other factions, you'd usually see your dwarf armies with just huge stacks of miners. They will now be able to recruit warriors as well at tier one, which will hopefully help fill their armies in a little bit better. Which we are going to use. I'm going to grab mining miners with the blasting charges. I want at least two of these guys for dealing with goblin swarms and rat nonsense here coming through with Tretch. But we won't do too many more than this and the ROR unit here, the Ekron Miners. Three of them usually is my limit. And then we'll trade them out for Iron Breakers later on. That's all we can pretty much do for this turn. I also want to recruit on in a Lord if we can get some gold from our neighbors. Come on, other Dawi. One coin. Well, it's more than zero. Fine. Sign this contract and we'll have a pact. This action does not have my consent. Onward. All right, so Franz is going to be a clown. Chosen. No consent for him. Well, I'd like to recruit another lord to have him traveling with us, so maybe instead of one of these miners, I will grab an additional lord. Slow us down a little bit. What kind of rune lords do we have? Grimnir and Hardy. Or for our other lords, we've got Bibulus, giving him extra mass and more charge defense. Ah, uh, he's a... He's a sailor. Or Grimnir. Let's go Birnoth of Grimnir, that way we have some rune magic flying around. And he will travel with us. Once we've subjugated the Dawi to the north here, so what my plan is taking out the Bloody Spears and aggressively crunching a Skarsnik. And that should hopefully take all of the pressure off of Ungram and allow him to finish off his first faction as well. And then we have the mountains secured to the north. Retake the realms. Fortress of Zar, not important enough. No, they don't. No one cares about them. Well, this gives me the opportunity also to fix up our camera settings. The must do for every campaign. I guess on an D video, he just he was only him doing this for every campaign. There we go. Once we hit our first age of reckoning, we'll get to show off even more of those grudge settler units, which are honestly terrifying. You can build up as many of them as you want. There is a limit. Let's see. You get up to 20 of them, which, I mean, that's not really much of a limit, is it? It's a full stack, a full army of any of them. So, way the guilds has done, a powerful authoritative voice at any hold. The guilds dominate dwarven civil life, controlling trade, finances, and labor. 
war with the uh, with the night goblin is really close. It absolutely is. We'll have to see how strong Skarsnik gets. He's already up to level five. We'll move on up to Morglore. Here at Mount Squighorn. He doesn't want any. Only a thousand men? Is this a joke? Alright, Gearnoth, you're gonna come on with. Your magic isn't the most potent yet, but it shall be. Make sure I can't recruit anything on the way in, which not for now. I'm to drain them. I'm gonna continue to fight these first battles here because if you do not know me, the battles are what I live for here in Total War. We can get an awesome choke point over here to the side if we move quick. And since they are likely to be waiting on us since we attack them, we'll be waiting on our reinforcements to show up. We should definitely be able to get over here before they can do anything about it. Onward! Rune Lord's got some great buffs. I will have to take a, a deeper dive into how much better the Rune Lords have gotten. And they were already pretty solid. The few campaigns I had played with the Dobby was always with... Oh lord, I'm not going to remember his name now. Always with the one down in the south with the, the Anvil of Doom. Whole new skill tree. That is glorious. What we are going to do... Oh yeah, this will be perfect. I'm going to keep them in their their formation we have now. Uh, we'll grab our miners, have make sure they're the ones that are taking the brunt of the charge coming on in. So they've got Vanguard. I can just go ahead and set them up how I want them. This set of blasting charges. Oh, come on. Geography, work with me. Here, here. I might just have him on the other side. We'll see. We'll see what we need to do. Everyone else stays where they're at, and we will get this thing going. You two in guard mode. Battle begin. This is early access for update 5.0 and the free LC. So we will be uh, playing Epidemius either tomorrow or on Friday, uh, also on a stream. Uh, but this is just showing off all of the reworks to the factions and really just what update 5.0 is bringing. So we've got four gyro bombers instead of just the one in uh, individual unit on Ultra, which is awesome. I believe their attack has been modified a little bit just to compensate. So I think before they had around a thousand damage or it was 1.2 thousand. And now that's down to 528 per model. Which is still not, not that much of a drop, to be honest. Get the Blasting Charge Miners up here and take them off the fire at will. Since we were made, able to get into position, we'll have the normal Dawi. Let the secondary group in in case they need help. Pretty likely you're going to come across the other way though. So let's have the other group just set up on this side. Pull the miners back a bit, that way I can kind of catch either a unit on either side. Usually the uh, wolf riders would be what we, we go for. And bombers, time to go forward to harassing. I don't see any archers on this side here, so we'll just kind of bring them up this way. And we'll take out those wolf riders they have. This will be 24 seconds before our rune lords here. You go ahead and come up on top. We'll be able to start firing on whoever we want. Quarrelers. We'll have hammerers back on this side with the long beard the other. Warlord's taking either side so we can fire on either end would be great. Rune Lords here will make sure you're up front. And you can take this flank as well. Rune Lords are going to start with Oath of... Rune of Oath and Steel for more armor, where the heroes, I think, just start with the Rune of Speed. Let's come up and around this forest here so we're not getting blocked too much. They might just choose to go through it, though. 
come on through just kind of harass these normal orc boys and their archers. Definitely a juicy target so we can come on in and start bombing. That'd be awesome. It's been more of a square formation. Now we're not going to get to. Bombs away. Even the business. Now up this way up the line. I want to go for the archers mostly. I think I just activated everyone's ability. Which is not what I meant to do. Come back around and go after the same group of archers here. Try to get them fleeing before uh, we can get in close. Four fools. One back, give them another bomb. That one wasn't nearly as effective. Come on back behind the line then, we'll harass them from the top of the hill. They did choose to stay back here and do nothing. This will be an unfortunate battle for them. Those archers are gone. Hopefully they run right off the side. We might not get lucky enough though. If I didn't say so, we'll come on in there, Lucas. Glad to have you. Moving much more slowly. We can go over to these group of archers, though, since they're a bit isolated. Alright, they are injured. We're going to continue to go after these uh, wolf riders, though. Use the trees as cover. And our squad here is a little bit unorganized, so we'll bring... want them to be able to be assisted by those miners. And it looks like the terrain's kind of funky here. We can use that to our advantage as well. Like that looks perfect. We'll bring these miners back. I'm going to have these quarrelers come up and around. Copters are under fire still. Let's keep them moving. It looks like they're going to harass with their own skirmishers. I don't think that's a fight they'll win. Something about a helicopter seems better than a wolf. We'll do our best to dodge those arrows, though. They deal more damage per shot than normal archers, for sure. Get away from them and just draw them on in. Hit them again when they're not ready for them. Lord of Clan Morgrim, with haste. All right, they sent the Wolf Riders round, so we'll have Clan Morgrim's defender in the back there. I want the hammers yeah, pretty much staying where they're at. They're in a good spot. All right, they're keeping pace pretty well. Draw them back into these archers. I ain't definitely taking the bait. A little health on the gyro bombers is not a ton. So things like uh, Spear Leech and even maybe other spells that are single damage are going to be pretty effective against them. Let's go over the top like this and they should get strafed by bolts and that'll be the end for that Wolf Rider group. I want to stay in range though so they can actually hit them. It has to be a juicy target of the AI. I will turn and run. There we go. You're going nowhere. I'll get my tools. Can't wait for the grudge throwers to come in. Artillery is your second favorite type of unit. Very fair. Artillery is awesome. And the Dolly bring all of the artillery. I personally can't wait for the Goblin Yuri, no matter how ridiculous it might look. Chucking hordes of axes at lads is going to be awesome. Especially in any kind of uh, building choke points. I keep harassing them on their way out. They're out of bombs. We'll have you go ahead and refill their ammunition. Fall back, because I guess they just decide to regain their honor. 
set up on the side. Let's turn and start blasting. Dodge their shot. As soon as we get a good blob on Thorgrim, I'm gonna have Thorgrim go after Morglor directly. If we get a good blob, we'll, then we'll drop the mining miners in those blasting charges. A little bit more there. You fire on. Go ahead. Lock these lads in so they can't move. Let the gyro bombers harass the Gulf Goblin Wolf Riders on the side. A wider formation will go so we can shoot both units on the way over. Give them the business. Make sure we're dealing with archers first. As rusty as they are, they do end up hurting. Pretty big squad on this side. Let's bring these archers back so they can actually not get run up on. Hammers get ready to move in. Build these guys ammo. Keep blasting these archers. Charge. Go ahead and give more armor to... Well, honestly, they're, they're fine. Give more armor to everyone in this group. No faffing about. All right, miners, go ahead and give them the business. Try to give this group the business because that's actually a much larger, much larger unit. Bombers won that brawl. Send you guys on in. The explosive damage is glorious. Get the goblins in the back line, please. You fire on this group. Or let you keep dealing with the archers. Thank you kindly. Hammers in a long line and send them in. Thin likes? Awesome. Thank you all so much. Let's drop the melee defense over here on... This poor war boss. Oh, the crossbows are in a weird spot. Move them up. And we'll bring these bombers around so they can actually blast into this huge blob over here. More ammo. Who needs it? Because the driver bombers do. We'll let them get closer. Switch you into melee mode. Let's go hands. Get that great big wrench on your back. Might as well use it. They come into these mountains. All we've got left is the very rarely brave groups. Let's see if you can help out with these archers. They don't do too much to our Jelly Roll Bombers. And as far as more melee attack, everyone up here. A foreground come back over and duel with the war boss. And fighting warriors meant we lost more of them than we probably should have. Hammers come back in and help out. Well, actually, we can have them chase off even more. Hammers are great. And there's the win. Glorious. Oh, yes, it absolutely can. Mm hmm. And that's what we were talking about earlier on the blasting charges being best for the miners. I had already forgotten. So for the for the next battle here, we'll we'll show that off. Because they would have gotten even more kills. I always see the gyro bombers and I immediately want to give them ammo, but the blasting charges are, are usually the better better call. Ekron's miners gets three of them, which makes them an even better, better call.
56 breathed, uh, we fall. We will be sacking Mount Squighorn as well. We need all the Oath Gold. We need Cooper. Gem Cutters and Obsidian Quarries, which we have here in Across a Crack. Yeah, the poor, poor Goblin Infantry. An Archivist for even more. Research rate is also great. Lord of Clan you Lord. can't make it, we'll have Birnoth go on in. We're gonna get more replenishment on Thorgrim, so we'll send him into Mount Squighorn. That's the Silver Road secured. So we've also got to change here with the settlements, where all of the key dwarf settlements were actually going to be what is going to add grudges to anyone. So if you are occupying any of these settlements and you are not a Dawi, be prepared to get an axe to the head. Not gonna be a good time. There's a, quite a few key dwarf settlements, all the way down to Stone Mine Tower and Ekrand. Raunchy Mingle appears to be outside, but we've got lots of land we've got under our, our claim, including Carrick Eight Peaks. Throw banners. Let's march. The old school capital. We'll go for Root Marcher now. Mason drops construction cost. I think we will be powering down the blue line soon, but first I'm going to grab... The Axe Lord to help out with Longbeards. While well, Missile uh, missile uh, damage is great. This game is too violent. That's eh, fair. Warhammer is gratuitously violent by uh, by nature. The High King acts. Since we are still out on Crusade, let's grab Break Open the Casks and Triangulation for more Missile Strength. I suppose so. Uh, I suppose so. Viranoth will give you Rune of Speed. We'll kind of make him our overall caster, if you will. It is time. Don't worry about his actual leading abilities just yet. So let's go one more Blasting Charge. We'll grab a third one when we have that ROR unit. We'll get one more Dwarf Warrior for a sturdy front line. Now Squighorn has a Sparring Chamber. We're actually going to delete it here in Squighorn since Karaza Crack will go up to tier 3 faster. It'll give us access to even more Thanes that much quicker. And then we'll likely destroy it once we have what we want and put it in somewhere else. To war! To war. For our commandments, I don't think anything has really changed, but point it out if you see it. We've got Masters of Stone and Steel for more recruitment cost reduction and more recruitment in the area. More growth, construction cost reduction, and more tradable resources produced faction wide. High King's tribute for more oath gold and normal gold. And venerate the ancestors for control and corruption drop. We'll grab and power the guilds. Hope the Empire doesn't finally get destroyed by all of the enemies surrounding it, because man, poor Franz can, can't catch a break. Uh, with the changes to the Empire, he is uh, doing much better. He actually starts with control of Helmgart. So you're not having to take that from the Secessionists, where they usually will just run back to Helmgard and build up an army. And they refuse to come out until you have artillery to punch those walls down. Now you start with Helmgard, so you can focus on wiping out the Secessionists. The and since he no longer has any issues moving through the Empire and taking any penalties for lost. trespassing, you're able to actually move around and defend the Empire quite a bit better. We'll check our diplomacy, even though I probably just did. Notoriously, uh... Bad memory. And onward. And Elspeth actually is already in the game, so she is violently aggressive with those around her, from what I've seen. Sylvania is going to wish that they never became vampires. This is pretty much what I'm saying. Lydia usually runs over the Empire. No longer. So the high place has been abandoned by... The Night Gobbos. What fools. Still waiting one turn for Krauser Crack to get upgraded. I am going to go ahead and throw in an additional barley field here in Squighorn. For maximum growth. And we're going to move on to the high place. No, he's... Not at war with anyone just yet, except for Crooked Moon. I guess the other Crooked Moon faction. 
we're gonna move on in and uh, deal with him now before he gets built up any further. A wall would be bad. Even one led by Night Gabos. Scarsnick, welcome to history. Never, never. So finally, someone to stop Vlad from taking over half the empire. Well, Katarin also does some horrifying things to Vlad now after the changes to uh, Kislev. This is another battle where I normally would not fight it, but we are just because Skarsnik's right next door and I don't want to lose any, any of our warriors. We'll bring Baranoth in. Let's throw hands. Crooked Moon. Oh, they've got some forest goblins. Actually can't wait for the green skin. With the change to dwarfs, now the green skins are feeling a little bit a little bit Warhammer 1-y. Which is a, is definitely a thing. I can't wait for them to get their inevitable uh third or three work, however many we're up to now with the, the green skins. And with well you also have to I guess with Vlad, you have to keep in mind that the, the all of the Empire is getting the additional changes to the, the units. So not just Elspeth, they're all getting the, all of the different, uh, I guess the Nuln Ironsides, the Hawkland Long Rifles, so all of those new units are going to be in for all of the Empire. As we, should be quick and simple, let's grab all our troops. Should be mostly in formation already. Let's add a third Dwarf Warrior to our Phalanx. Here, Thorgrim, Blasting Charge, Miners. I'll keep them in the woods here. Regular Miners ready to keep them safe. Yes, we need to do all of the, all of this for sure. Units in group. And let's crush them. Underestimating any of your enemies is a good way to lose lots of lads, but this is one of those we can probably afford to a bit. Let's go this way. We'll have the Gyro Bombers actually deal with the Archers first. And I'll leave the Miners there until Thorgrim moves up to deal with Dreg Legbiter. Ah, I'm healed up. Actually, like you all were saying, let's keep him by our Miners. So th that way he can... Uh, Refill those blasting charges. I think the greenskins just need more unit variety. That's kind of what I'm thinking as well. They don't need a lot of overall changes. I might like to see a few more scrap upgrades chucked on in here and there. But they definitely need more variety. We need some spear orcs. And all of the forest goblins. There's a whole... Several different cultures that are kind of missing chunks of their roster. Right, make sure that these spider riders don't make it on in. Plans unite. We'll keep them going sideways with the gyro bombers because there's no real reason to use their, their machine gun, I guess. Drop these spiders, melee defense. And we'll have our explosives come on up and Deal the final blow there. I'm trying to get faster at the uh, shift one. Hot key abilities. One back. Hit him again. Grab the whole army, I guess. Send them all in. I'll help. Actually, don't really, really need to bring anyone else. The hammers can handle that. Let the crossbows help out. These warriors can maybe go after these spider riders to make sure they don't make it in. That should be the win there. Oh, you guys turn around and do some damage. Yeah, you can definitely refill their, their mining uh, blasting charges, which is insane. Give another one. All right, that's that. Let's not give too much uh, friendly fire on those blasting charges. Miners have a good bit of armor, but blasting charges are scary.
All right, with that victory over this small crooked moon, Arby, I'm going to jump up and run to the bathroom. And we will get back to Conquest, because now we have the Shroom Addicted Lad and his actual troops coming up. A little proper battle ahead. All right, managed to burn the fool out of myself while I was gone, too. We lost only one in the fighting. I am disappointed. That was likely friendly fire. This miner, it was likely friendly fire. He caught the wrong explosive. We'll go ahead and stack this for 12 both gold. It's a small amount, but we'll take it. Ooh. Hang on now. This might have been a bad call. Now we can't blame the high place. But so we could go back into. Now we're be stuck. No, no replenishment. No recruitment for a turn, which is not good for Scar Snake. Yes. Well, that is what it is, I guess. Not much we can do about it. I will have Birnoff though come to the other side of Thorgrim. We didn't really lose that many, so I think we'll be fine. Yes, the Arachnorok's an issue, but I can kind of set the, uh, the guns up to slow that thing down and get it as much damage as possible before it makes it to the line. And Thorgrim can pretty easily duel with the uh, Scar Snake. A little spooky, though. One rock now. I can almost trade with Reichland. Welcome How much gold would I have to give you more than I'm willing to? What? I'm willing to give you a zero. Foolish. Umgi. All right, next turn we should have a little bit more gold flowing on in. I wish we should have just claimed the high place, but I'm thinking Source Nick should just sit here in the world's edge. That's true. Can indeed use our, our bombers as long as I've got skills. That is the uh, the sticking point, though, isn't it? If I have the skills, since they are going to sit here and do nothing, Scarce is just going to recruit. If he gets a wah, we're in trouble. But otherwise, we should be able to handle this. I'll send Birnoth in first. That way, he's the one in high place. Well, you guys got a lot of troops back, didn't you? Let's see. Yo, wait, that's way, 
Way worse than any of our battles so far. I worry for the Ragnarok these days. It's a four-band unit you can acquire in the Black Sun Fleet mod. It does seem to do horrible in its settlement battles. Most of the single entities get slain in auto-resolve. It's unfortunate. No, no, I've played a bit of Green Skins as well, and they did they do tend to sacrifice your your single entities, including the Arachnorok. We could ambush him. I think this one will ambush him and have Birnov build up more troops. Normal Dobby warriors are gonna be the way there. Rune of Wrath and Ruin as well, so we can explode units of them. 40% armor piercing sounds good. Slowing them down is also worth thinking about, but I think exploding groups of night goblins is going to be far superior there. Axe Lord gives us more melee attack and not defense, so I don't want that. We're going to go for Thunderer instead, so we have more ammunition, and we'll finish this one on out. Quarrelers, Thunderers, Rangers. Dom um, will give Triangulation for more missile strength for the whole army. We are up to... Does that increase blasting charges? It does. 28 for them and 20 for the Quarrelers. Not bad. Not bad at all. You are stacking up on the Nasty Skulkers, aren't you? They're fighting Dawis. So they need that armor-piercing shivs. I don't think Skarsnik will have enough for a while yet. He need to do quite a lot of battles. Well, the thing is that uh, the AI doesn't seem to have to do that. They get their walls so quick. We'll go ahead and upgrade. I would like to get in our helicopters sooner rather than later. We just won't really necessarily be able to afford that many of them, but we don't need to. They're 175 for 12. So do we get the troll hammer ones, or is that coming soon? I don't see the troll hammer. That may just be what only on the special uh, grudge settler units as well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the Tinkerer's Den. This gives us access to recruiting more Master Engineers. Which we owe. Well, we're a little bit... We might owe them a single Engineer. Either way, we'll have ourselves some more research rate and some gyrocopters. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's hope your ambush works. Yeah, the, the AI cheats quite a bit. On Legend, it's much worse. Since we're playing on very hard, it, he yes. hopefully won't have enough. Who uh, ready. But on, on Legend, they only have to win like two or three battles, and they are they are wah ready. Speaking on the single entities getting drop kicked by auto-resolve, the others that I've noticed get absolutely shrecked. Oh, we didn't quite get it in ambush. We do have a weakened settlement garrison, and he has an absolute million nasty skulkers. Good news is we can definitely use drained ride oh. This choke point spells doom for you, Skarsnik. This one does too. It'll be much more difficult to use though. Let's we'll just go for this one. We could auto-resolve it, we would lose our warriors. Ooh. I mean, auto-resolve is, is tempting here. That's not the kind of warrior I'd be. Scar Snake versus Kareza Karak. We probably have some weapons we should have equipped. Well, too late now. Onward to battle. What do we have to deal with with you? You've got your Prada, which won't do that much damage because it's magical and a missile, so Thorgrim should just laugh at it. Could just sit up in this, this top portion here and wait for them to come up, but I think that's boring. Oh yeah, this is perfect. The most excellent of choke points. Uh, we will have our Blasting Charge Miners set up with the Normal Miners. Normal Miners don't know they're expendable. Miners! Bad time to figure that one out. I uh, will set them up kind of like this. That way we can hopefully blow up most of the Orcs. For the ancestor gods. 
I will move them up as needed. This terrain is really funky, so we should be able to use it to our advantage. Little quarrelers. Wow, this terrain is incredibly funky. What is going on here? Only Van... Oh, that's Vanguard. Oh. I see. This is like a back-of-the-map situation. It's the best terrain here, so they get what they get. They only have one archer, so your bombers will be a free reign to run the skies. Thank you for taking note. Are you sure they don't have more night goblin archers hiding in the back? I always assume there's night goblin archers hiding. Fighting Skarsnick. Either way, that will keep our bombers up front. We do have the Arachnorok Spider. They'll, they'll throw javelins at us, but I don't think that's nearly as big of a deal. Have you guys sticking up in the woods just in case anyone decides to go through there. Didn't have our units selected like I thought. Weird. I like lumping them up as much as I can so that we are, can get maximum flank attacks with our hammers. It just gives our crossbows a little bit less cover. Oh, awesome. Only one regular archer. Thank you for noticing that. Helps our tactics quite a bit here. Uh, we'll have Sniper set up behind our miners here. Orgrim, it really thinks that he would lose to Skarsnik. What's the difference in skills? Skarsnik has a lot of charge bonus and magical, or I guess poison attacks. That is annoying. Orgrim is a feared of nobody. Infantry, I'm at miners in their own squad, and then all of our ranged. Be business, I'm going to start by pulling these crossbows. Whoa, that's a weird bit of terrain there entirely. Never mind, I guess everyone's in their position as they're going to be. Spread them out a little bit more, though. All right, let's go bully these archers. I'm actually going to remove... Do I want to remove fire at will? We can also blast apart these squig hoppers. I found the chain guns to be incredibly effective against larger targets. Less so against the small guys. I only took down one, but look at that health damage. Squigs having a bad day. Well, I guess they're not... They're still having a great day. They're getting to watch other night goblins explode. Get a little bit closer so we're more accurate. Alright. The issue is with the night goblins. We'll try to disrupt their formation a little bit by blasting it. And now let's move on in. He's gonna try to make them invisible, but our gyro bombers can see them no problem. Nasty skulkers. Try to bomb the archers with only a couple hits, and then we'll come back around and harass these squig hoppers. Where'd the Arachnorok go? Super sneaky. Vengeance for that awful words that quest, but oh good grief, yeah. We lost everyone. They just sent all of the explosive squigs. There was nothing we could do about it. Let's go chase the Arachnorok around now. Time to be a bully. Any blobs I see are getting bombed. Yoink! Yoink! Oh, you're just gonna stand there, huh? Perfect. Good idea. I mean, you're just making it easy for our bombers at this point. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Don't pull out. Incorrect. Bomb them again. Just trying to figure out how many kills they were up to. 90? Well done, lads. Get a little bit closer, but not enough that we're getting hit. I mean, Skarsnick, are you going to use your Prada? Are you going to use anything? You guys need to run. Run very fast. In fact, we can use our... Uh, runes to go faster. Gonna take all the 
It's gonna be a long time to get over. If they even decide to. Alright, well, we're gonna come back this way and blow up these Night Goblins then. Don't mind if I do. And now? You let it happen. Get him again. We'll save these last two for the blobs that come up around uh, our base there. Let's give them one volley so they decide not to shoot at us. And look how fast they're moving. Alright, so we'll go normal dwarfs in here. Explosive dwarfs. You guys have a few bombs. Ten of you with an explosive is pretty dangerous. And then our normal miner just kind of spread about up front here. Slow the enemy. Who knows where you can even deploy them? This is a weird mountainside here. Maybe like that. Gyro Bomber's MVP. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Most of the enemies already broken before we even got over there. If we had the copters already, it'd be, uh, be really game over. Let's start going back to get uh, some extra ammo. Ooh. Nice hit on uh, Scar Stick. Let's go for that one again. Excuse me. Your stink cloud can't hide you from me. Oh, I should have been firing on Scar Stick. Remember this. Gyro Bomber's bully Scar Stick. Back over here so we can actually get more ammunition. Like said. I'll try to go over the tops of these squig hoppers and other night goblins, though. They're tempting me with another bombing run. These night goblins are all packed up. I won't, but I want to. We need more ammo. You want to move forward and give him ammo, that'd be fine. Imagine just gonna sprint forward and just throw whole cases of ammo at him. That'll do. Turn back around and let's do some damage. Well, they really think they can do anything to Thom. Alright, they've been suppressed. Let's go after the Arachnorok switch suppressed as well. As soon as they're in range, those uh, Quarrelers are going to destroy these poor knight, these Squig Hoppers. You move in to disrupt them. That's a pretty good blob there. Hello, Night Goblins. So good of you to blob up. And... Get them! Come back round, those quick hoppers got decimated. You come in to disrupt this Ragnarok and you fall back. More ammo for our bombers. Really, Wrath and Ruin is already able to be overcast? We'll wait on that one though. Blasting charges decimate the big boss. And the Ragnarok's gone too. We could have taken it out a little bit faster with the good old uh, drop the melee defense. They got some coming through the woods. Nothing we weren't aware of. Nelson Hammer is up to deal with that group as well. Just anything you choose to shoot at is perfectly fine by me. Send him in to believe them. Here's my... Overcast. I actually sent you in instead of the Thorgrim. It's working on out. Scarsnick is run for the hills. Let's make sure you don't come back and we'll bomb this blog here. He's trying to make him invisible. That's definitely working. Here, would you guys like some more explosives? Don't mind if you do. Let's get back to hunting. I used the fanatics, but they used them incorrectly, which is awesome to see. We'll hit them with a slow mo bombing run. Because they deserve it. 
and go time. Glorious. You can come back around and bully Scars Dick some more. And you do the same. I'll get my tools. I mean, they're 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 done. Uh, let's grab you. Bring you up, help out hammers in the woods here, who have slaughtered themselves. Some nasty skulkers. And the greenskins run for the hills. Scar snake dealt with. Glad to hear that. If faction clicks, it does become. I agree. It was fun to play, too. None of our dog are going to be able to keep up with anyone, but we can watch. Or Scar's Dick try to escape his fate. Probably time to hop up on Goblin and get riding. He's going nowhere. I'm going to make sure Scarsnick is wounded. Fighting a normal war boss is infinitely easier. Hammers actually should be able to keep up. We'll have the Dwarf Warriors fall back. Hammers have, a, I think, a little bit more speed. At 28, which is... It's two more. It's, it's something. Come on, keep up with him. Keep refilling that ammunition. It's terrifying for single entities. You'd really choose either taking out single entities by giving your gyro bombers or even your artillery more ammo, or just going for those uh, blasting charges. He's really close. We'll just go for a speed up. Finish this poor fool off and start heading up this way. Let's see how many of the night goblins you can take out on the way. Because they are up to 348 kills. Oh no. Well done, gyro bombers. You just single-handedly defended or hold. That's one of the awesome changes you're coming into 5.0 is we're going to get a lot of the chapters, or at least little blurbs from uh, My Travels with Gotrek. You get all sorts of little fun stories from Gotrek and Felix's journeys. I haven't got that chance to read those books yet, but I'm going to have to grab the whole collection and get, get reading at some point. Any faction that relies on artillery benefits a ton from a hero with restock ability. Oh, absolutely. Any faction that relies on missiles at all is infinitely made better by restock. All right, Scar's next lane with very few losses on our side. We lost our miners, but uh, they knew what they were uh, signing up for. We will take even more Oath Gold. I should unlock our forge now. Of course, we're likely not going to be doing anything with the forge just yet because of the fact that a lot of our technologies are going to take Oath Gold as well. A quest has been issued, oh. mighty lord. A great adventure. Thank you, Dodgy Johan. Be wary, though, for while the potent Axe of Grimnir. What are we going to be facing here? A bunch of goblins and their Doom Diver catapults. We need some artillery of our own, or even more helicopters, before I'm willing to take that one on. Doom Diver catapults are fun, but can be an issue on our side. The recent test flights of the new gyrocopters have been fruitful, so that's exactly what we are looking to use, revealing a large gathering of greenskins around a location in the Badlands known as the Pillar of Moan. The High King's scout reports that uh, the presence of numerous orc and goblin warriors engage in some sort of ritual activity, which appears to be centered around several shamans. Given that the Pillar of Moan is known to be a nexus of arcane power, Thorgrim is determined to disrupt the ritual and orders the battle horns sounded. I'm almost teleported on in right now. Sure to put it's a bit of nightmare. Gold to good you Again, thank you, Dodgy Johan. A sneaky spider, so defeating Skarsnick will give us more ambush success chance for ourselves and ambush defense chance, which would be great when throwing down with these rats ahead of us. Heavy Curran Stones is done now, so Dwarven Grinding Stones are always perfectly round. And 
and decorated with geometric scrolls, or geometric scrolls, and runes, usually of Alea's making. Indeed. We'll be in another battle here. Garstag has very few grudges. Gain green skin actions. Fools of green skin. That's all it takes. All right, in an effort to send you to vengeance. Let's go for Thunderer. Once we get up near tier 10, I'm going to start saving his skill points so we can go for his unique skill line. You absolutely need artillery and choppers. Good call out. We'll also go ahead and grab the flash bomb here, which drops speed by 60%, charge speed by 60%, and then melee defense by 24 in a little area. Fantastic activated ability. We will go for Master of the Forge soon. Where's my bookmark? So maybe I'm going to be bringing him with us for now, though, so I will take a Rune of Wrath and Ruin while we are on a campaign. The High King acts. Fearnoth's got those warriors. I'd like to give them over to Thorgrim. At least one of them. And then we'll head on up to uh, Dropkick Garsnag. Fearnoth's not going to have time to replenish. Let's go ahead and have him move up and be the reinforcements. The runes are cast. And Thorgrim can launch the invasion. Another one we're going to want to fight. Onward. We will start auto-resolving battles a little bit more once we have no more giant armies of Crooked Moon hiding in the wings. This gives us even more opportunities to show off gyro bombers. Which I've been having it so much more fun with now that we have four of them in a in a squad. All right, Garsnag, prepare yourself for doom. It did definitely disrupt my formation, but I still like to keep things nice and compact. Uh, so what we're gonna do is have two up front. Warriors on the sides to protect our Warlers. Hopefully it'll save this formation going forward, so I'll kind of take it a bit more centralized so it can, the AI can try to save it. Long gears with axes on this side, hammers on the other. I'd like to have the front line a little bit more grouped up, not quite that much. And then the ones coming in for reinforcements being more wide. Miners with blasting charges just up front. Like so. That's what go Master Engineer to start sniping at the war boss until we can see the goblin boss. Always set up like you're going to stomp on the throat. You will not lose as many troops. Believe it. Battle begin. We'll take the hill here. We won't go all the way up into the woods, but we will definitely take the hill. Start blasting at the big boss. No one's ready for a bombing run. We'll try to do the bombing run without using any of the uh, UI. Time for practice. Ooh, those goblins are gone already. There they are. A little bit soon. Alright, this isn't working. Change mind. We just send my whole squad forward. Move it in. We'll do this proper. Don't run. It's only the void. They're desperate to not have their bot their archers exploded there. Just to run and blast them once or twice. I guess we sent these guys forward. I'm not sure what happened here. Go ahead and hit these two clowns with a flashbang. You move in to deal with them. And it works out in the long run, doesn't it? Ready with those blasting charges. 
hammers up so we're not getting over overrun. Burn and fire. Blasting charges versus this clown. Go. Go ahead and we'll trench this group. Miners, come on up. Or bombers, I guess. Explode this group. Come on through. Those that survive are going to meet our explosives. Have you restock this group if we can. It's a little bit too late. They've already engaged the enemy. Our flanks are safe, though. Now we can send in the hateful boys. Finish him off. Go help poor Grim out. He's going to have lots of enemies surrounding him soon. And... Bombing run. Oh, there's no escape. Not now. We've got your number. Orgrim, that extra melee defense. You turn and start blasting into this group. Should fall back a bit, so we can use those blasting charges. Axes are in now. Oh, those miners got destroyed. Ah, oh, the fanatics, that's why. My goblin fanatics be like that. Hit them with some bombs. Let the long beards engage first with these nasty skulkers. Hit him with the uh, flashbang here on this boss. No melee defense for these clowns. There it is. Those that didn't get chopped in half then were exploded. Fantastic. Now we can chase off as many as we can here. Warboss slain. Glorious. There's 102 Skulkers over there, so let's go after them. We have one more set of bombs too, don't we? Yep, we'll try to get them before they leave. No such luck. They are Skulkers. They move quite quickly. All right, so one bomb not used. That's a little bit, a little bit sad. A few more before we call it. Hello. Our gyro bombers already up to gold chevron. Absolutely. The most elite. Probably our next set of upgrades is going to go to the gyrocopters. We'll have three that we're worrying about on the red line. Since Thorgrim isn't a spellcaster, we should be able to have plenty of skills. Nasty skulkers are pretty much the only thing that the goblins really have here, especially for Crooked Boon, to deal with you. He's not able to recruit any orcs at all, so it's always going to be a heap of uh, nasty skulkers. Right, 82 lost in that fight. We are going to actually take the replenishment this time. Allow us to continue our conquests. Bootlicka up there is recruiting more, and so is this clown here at the world's edge. We've won four battles against Crooked Moon, finishing the Perdiferous Sneak Grudge. So-called King of the, Under the Mountain has already been drop kicked out of existence. We've got 2,500 uh, treasury, and then the Master Rune of Spite. Oh, that's fantastic. Woe be to Thorgrim's enemies. Oh, did we get our Kevin? We did not yet. So Thom, we'll have Beernoff be our Kevin. To make it proper goofy, you will be Kevin Evanson. Evanson? No, we'll get Evanson. There we are. He's the fourth of his line. Lord of Clan Borgrim. Then we'll have Thorgrim. 
I'd really like to try to set up in an ambush over here and send F and after World's Edge, but we wouldn't be able to take it. Let's take World uh, World's Edge from them and then turn around and go after this army. What? Looks like he can barely reach. But what I'm going to... Yeah, if he can barely reach, we need to make it. I thought about we'll send him back over to try to recruit some, but we can't make it past the high place, so we'll, we'll do it like this. No, I lied. I want those gyrocopters now, don't I? Wait two turns, so let's not. All of the indecision. Let's go trading warehouse at least. And instead of upgrading at Squighorn, we want to save for the dwarf keep here. So I'll just go for the clan barracks. It is time. Now we move in. Can you actually reach? Prove it. Can. Decisive defeat. Uh, you wish. Here comes Thulgrim. And this one we should be able to auto resolve. Without losing pretty much anyone. Not in my name. Not in my name. Actually, before we do, let's get that Master Rune of Spite equipped on Devin, since he's leading the charge. Archivist on you, Cooper on the other. We'll give the Archivist to our Master Engineer, that way our Lords can keep building up more ancillaries. That's that, we lost 177, which is more than we have previously. Sacking it would be pretty much useless. So we'll leave Kevin here to defend the World's Edge, and Thorgrim. Burn. My anger burns bright. Oh, anger burns bright. The route marchers, you can hopefully keep yes. up with Thorgrim. One more point into increased mobility. Sounds good. We're really going to be missing our helicopters for the final battle against Gunbad, but we, we may not even need them. For next technology, more Oath Gold sounds awesome. Becky, I think it's Oath Gold for now. We'll grab the Kings to share, and then we'll come down to the clans and start upgrading our soldiers a bit. Which, to do so, I think we'll come down through Masterwork Crossbows here for less reload time. More armor and more speed also sounds great. Alright, so no more upgrades. Let's go for... One rug. Nah. Works. No real diplomacy to be had at the moment. But as we were looking at the Great Book of Grudges, I didn't come on in and look at our, our legendary lords. So as you actually build up settled grudges, it'll actually count your total number as well as the total number for all of the other legendary lords that are out on the field. So everyone except for it looks like Malachi is in here at the moment, because you're obviously not able to confederate Malachi. Uh, but once you do build up, it, looks, it should tell you. So you have to have a certain number of grudges times what they have. I don't know the exact math, but I'm guessing some of you incredibly intelligent lads will figure it out. Uh, but at the moment, you have to basically set up where you get a certain number of grudges. It doesn't seem to be... That much more. Oh no, it is. It's 15,000 plus whatever they have. Okay, so it's 15,000 grudges plus the number that they have, and then you're able to confederate them right away. Very similar to your Beastmen campaigns. And then these would be all the Grudge Settler units. And it tells you what their specializations are as well. Okay. We could just come on in here, couldn't we? So for your Quarrelers, you've got Bonus for Symmetry and Shield Breaker. For those Slayers, you've got Sundering Attacks and Extremely Daring Death Blow, which gives them a chonky, chonky bit of uh, buffs for dropping below 25% health. Grudge Throwers, which has Shrapnel Projectiles. Uh, yes, please, it has Monstrous Impact. Does Malachi start Cracker Drack? He absolutely does. Yep. Cracker Drack will be his... Uh, is starting point. You can actually zoom one up and see it. So these uh, great weapon ones have guardian and expert charge defense. Hammers have frostbite attacks and frenzy. Iron drakes have more range, so 120 instead of I believe 90. And flammable attacks, so they'll actually make the enemy take more fire damage. That's insane. Then we have got the gyrocopters with the troll hammer torpedoes and the gyrocopter bomb with is also a troll hammer. So these are just 
super uh, gyrocopters. And the flame cannons will have more armor and shrapnel projectiles. Because that's something you need with your flame cannons. This looks, this screen also just looks incredible. I love the Great Book of Grudges look, especially here for the Grudge Settlers page. It'll also show you which Reckoning, Age of Reckoning tier you have to get to get each of those units as well, which is very good to know. Also here for our Forge, it's almost identical to what it was before, where you still have to get your Oath Gold plus certain uh, trade resources in order to build items. Some of these items are able to be rebuilt multiple times, and some of them are unique and only can be used once. We're going to want to come on in and grab banner and character runes probably sooner rather than later here. So before we get anything like enchanted items, talismans, and armor and stuff, we'll come on in and probably start grabbing a few of these lovely runes, especially the Master Rune of Spite. Just turning your lords into mortis engines is always very good. There was one that is the Ancestor Rune that says entities cannot die while ability is active, and the duration is infinite. So does this may just make your units invincible the entire time? Because that sounds insane. Hey Chang, welcome on in. You really love the re I love the rework as well. You can see if a Lord faction is destroyed or not in the LL section. But oh, you can actually see if they're wiped out. Obviously none of ours are. But if they have been taken out, are they just crossed off in the, the Great Book? Either way, Kevin needs more troops. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pop in a few more Dwarf Warriors. Lovely. We'll give it a turn. Next stop, Mount Gunbad. You can see how many settlements they have. Yes, indeed and how many grudges they've settled. We are doing the best so far. Oh, hello, bootlicker. What an interesting strategy. We're about to re rename you to Axelica. Oh, hell has been wiped out. All right, Kevin. Onward. On my way. We'll have Thorgrim initiate combat. What? The voice line I feel deeply. Uh, we could auto resolve this one. Close victory, low casualties. Sure. That's not bad. Oath gold or replenishment. Let's go replenishment for now. Normally I would take the oath gold, but we have unlocked our forge, so now I'm gonna stay on aggression until we take down Gunbad. To war. What is actually defending here? Night goblins and some trolls. We should be able to pull back into friendly territory here with March. And then hit Gunbad next turn. We aren't able to go into any kind of encamp stance, sadly. Unless we can maybe give ourselves some more movement. No, we can't. Sad day. Let's keep grabbing triangulation, moving on over here towards the... Uh, 42 pounders from Zufbar. Retake the realm. Master crafted weapon, rune warded armor. Oh, it gives him a gives him a bronze shield. Aura of endurance. That's pretty solid as well. Firing furies for the flamethrowers and troll hammer torpedoes. What is where are our helicopters? Addition and innovation. So extra ammo and then more range. Are they over in Dobby Firepower? So that's good. You can upgrade both the gyrocopters and your, I guess, your flamethrower and quarreler units through the same elite skill. Quite like that. Obdurate is just a ton more leadership. Let's go Thunderer and Tradition Innovation. I do. I hope. Yes, indeed, Chang. The new grudge units are awesome. We haven't got to see too many of them yet, uh, but we will. Our first Age of Reckoning is about to uh, commence. Let's go Rune of Sto uh, Rune of Oath, Zo uh, Oath and Steel. 
for that extra armor. And we'll be able to overcast it for 60 armor. Vengeful Lord. And we'll from here, we'll come on back I agree. to replenish. Which takes less movement. It's like high place. No, it's, I think it's identical, actually. So let's go back to the high place for you. Kevin, come back to this position. Yeah, the new Gotrek and Felix is a quest that you uh, get after your lords hit a certain level. So I think it's rank 15, and we'll start seeing uh, rumors that Gotrek and Felix are doing things, and we'll, we'll have a quest start up for it. Skip on through, and that's that'll be our turn. A little bit concerned with our lack of forces here, but once we take down Gunbad, we're pretty much in the clear from the north. I'm not sure. I think it is both the Dwarves and the Empire that are able to get Gotrek and Felix, but I haven't done enough testing with their quest to know. That Great Book of Grudges has a pretty good video on it, if you were wanting to find out more. Tretch usually does. Weak seems to be a little bit less aggressive towards Thorgrim. What caravan raid? A dwarf trade caravan is ringed by goblin wolf raiders. A stalemate has developed, but the foe uh, refuses to relent. I mean, it's goblins. Such a local affray should be dealt with by the local lord, but your interruption or intervention could speed things up. Smash the enemy for more leadership and less control, or you're on your own. We don't want the raid to remain, but losing control sounds gross. Populous has been left in disarray. You can deal with it. You're no Dawi if you can't hold the line. Razak Rack has itself a caravan, which is awesome. Lord of Clan now it's time to deal with Henri. Send me to vengeance. We are in the Traum Age of Reckoning, so we should get Quarlers, Slayers, Grudge Throwers, and Longbeards I once we complete this. But if we get up next legs. year, Gorm, we'll get. Hammers and Iron Drakes. They become manipulated by the 25,000 gold in attack, Altorf. So everyone becomes falls to corruption if they... Take the oh man, we can't make it. Here's what we'll do then. The you in camp. Start moving your way up the hill. Master Kevin, you'll stay here. Build us up some more. I'll give you a minor support. Take it to him in next turn. Let's see if there's anything we can do in diplomacy. Dwarves are quite slow to make Child agreements. Oh, we can trade with Yuan Shan Fu. Cafe wishes no ill upon those who respect us. You give us gold, we respect you. We make our ancestors proud. Oh, I like the new dwarf tech tree. I think it is. Uh, it's pretty good. It's at least it less cluttered time. than the previous one. Um, Yes. And it seems like there's less steps. They've consolidated quite a few of the actual technologies. They're mostly the same, just consolidated or maybe given a few tweaks. So I, I quite like it. No complaints thus far. Yes, build your forces, Henri. The grudge bearer comes for thee. We've got a new caravan? Gotta love being the uh, source of all of... Well, multiple. Sweet. Athe, keep sitting your goodies. We'll make sure the mountains are clear. Alright, Kevin. Kevinson. It's time. If you say so, Beardling. Because we know what they're capable of. We're now we respect him because uh, destroy them. they give us money. They're only capable of those sort of things when I'm piloting them. Bring them. Or when any of you are piloting them. The AI tends to faceplant with Cathay pretty hard. It's, it's pretty unfortunate. Come on. This next faction that needs changing is the Lizardmen. Oh, I agree. Their check tech tree is, uh, it's pretty jank. The best way to put it. 
an overhaul kind of like they've done with the, the dwarves here is, is is in order i want it to still retain the same idea though where we still have to let's get ourselves a siege we still have to have certain kind of landmark buildings or buildings to get the most elite technologies but they've made it a little bit too uh restricted as is but like the gyro bombers have four units absolutely yep perfect change no no problems there at all in fact it is glorious Brian, we also respect him because Cathay is one of my one of my favorite factions, at least from Warhammer Three. We have quite a bit of potential to be even even cooler as time goes on. We're definitely going to attack from this section of the wall because it has the least number of towers at zero. Let's go cause them a minor annoyance. Miners should still have a bonus to damage against gates. At least they used to. Maybe they do. Oh, these guys do. They're they're explosives. Alright, fair enough. Quarlers. Let's start shooting. Do the warriors how we did previously, except for with our long beers and hammers further back. need to bring you over to resupply our miners with those blasting charges. We'll have infantry in a group, miners in a group, ranged in a group, and then uh, Orgrim and Thom. Saw a bug yesterday where the gyro bombers still have four full entities, but they don't replenish. They have four with half health. I haven't had that happen yet, but we might we might see that happen. Be an unfortunate bug for sure. They're going to start blasting at us immediately, which is effective, but we have some armors. So hopefully, they can absorb a few of those shots. Send the lads on in. Start blasting at who you can. We'll send the gyro bombers around so they hopefully don't get hit by. So if you guys are good against walls, can you actually use those charges against the walls or not? It really appears so. Send Thorgrim up to help out with the gates. Can stop us. I'm gonna have the normal dwarf warriors go to take Climb. the wall. Start climbing. Get your Both of them. Get them over here. Great for getting on the slog and chunking through. Our heavy units will go through the gates as soon as those are open. Get bombing run formation. Send them in. I see lots of enemies off the walls now. Move now. That goes in the books. What on earth? There's sometimes when Shift One is grabbing all my units. I'm likely misclicking somewhere along these lines. I get through the gate pretty quickly. Anyone that goes up on the wall is gonna have a really bad day. Set our quarrelers up so they can get an angled shot in on the walls. Keep you all moving. Just destroy the enemy archers. Coming uphill here. Find the individual units of Night Gobbos and give them a headache. The ultimate terminal migraine. Oof, the damage. They should get through those gates pretty quickly now that Big Papa Grudge Bear is here. As long as we're dealing with the archer teams, we pretty much can walk on the infantry. On the way. Give them another one. Can stop us. And then as soon as their bombs are expended, we'll go after these poor unfortunate trolls. Right, taking the walls. Reinforcements coming in from the other sides. We'll have them get up and over. Oh, they're over there, so let's have them do that. On this gatehouse. It'll take a long time. Orgrim, you move right on in. 
I'm gonna have the miners go up top. What's going on here? You might just come back, bring them in so they can try to chuck those mines through the front. Flashbang this group. Flashbang this group. Let's get the copters moving around and maybe I can have them take off the tower here. Since we're through, time to send the lads in. Decimated that group. Let's give the next a hug. You fall back, we'll resupply them. Archers. You're you're just fine. Keep blasting these night gubbos. Bring in bring in the actual warriors of the miners go up to the walls. Shoot this to bits for me. As the Skulkers are mean, so let's oath of vengeance on these clowns. A refilled land or a refilled blasting charges can move on in. Go up on top of the walls here. Bring them all. All right, our bombers are getting shot up a little bit too much. Pull them away. Tower damage is mean. Nasty skulkers are mean. Get over this wall. Trolls are thinking about coming on in, but those blasting charges are annihilating. Give them another. We'll get you guys up on the walls here and you guys here. That way they can drop those explosives down on top of idiots. Warlers move in and fire on these trolls. Instead, let's go ahead and flashbang this group surrounding Thorgrim. Those warriors are struggling quite a bit. So the hammer is in to deal with that group of night gobos, and the long beers help out with these night gobos. You can fire on the shaman, that'd be awesome. Yes, laddie. Warlers being a little bit goofy. Pathic tells them they need to go up on top of the walls. Those warriors are losing a lot of men. They will be remembered. Oh, let's not move in there, gyro bombers. A little bit too weak into the moment. You fire on the trolls as well. Let's restock their ammo. Fire on those trolls. Oh yeah, just adding a few more entities tends to make a lot of these flying units quite a bit better. It's awesome to see too. These jar bombers always had the capability of being awesome. They were just held back by the fact that they've one model is very easy for them anyone to really deal with. Towers are shifting, so we'll boom and bring our own crossbows up. Warriors down. You keep picking off these trolls, and we should deal with that in no time. Alright, Tower Bombers, now that they've forgotten about you again, let's bring you on in. Yes, yes! These trolls. Charge those skulkers. Got yeah, shot through those gates pretty quickly. We should have we should have seen them and brought them on in. Let's well take this zone. You use the speed buff to give everyone a little bit of a boost. Uh, true, Chroman will annihilate gyro bombers, but if they get a couple volleys, they may not even make it anywhere near them. So if you're using your copters right, bring these 22 down. It's so not getting wiped out. Huge Dawi Blob. Right, Jaro Bomber is trying to get a little bit more damage on this arrow tower here. Captured a lot of the zones. We can, we can kind of just move in slow and steady and wipe out the rest of these idiots. 
You poor fools. Marler, you guys come on down. Actually, dealing with this tower is probably the best call. That's dealt with. This guy, you go after the enemy general. Oh, it's not actually down. Our Marler should be able to finish it off. Could be able to is the keyword there. We're moving through the trap like intended. We'll have our explosive boys move up together behind these warriors. Is it behind these warriors? There we go. You guys can all kind of crash into this group of goblins. Versus the fire bolas. That actually would probably be a good match. We will 100% have to test it. Worlds are not very good at taking down towers anymore. There they go. Winning against the arrow tower, but just barely. Bring you on down to help. Let's hope one more volley is enough. Beautiful. And now we'll bring them in to bomb this group here. Not really, you didn't come on in. We've got a lot of our units that aren't moving. Come on down and we'll drop the bombs on this group. I should see our foes fleeing to the hills. Out of ammo, those we're gonna bring them back round. And we will restock. Those helicopters, so they can get back involved. Everyone moving on in. Or Grim. Oh, they're in they're in the platform. We'll have you move up with the long gears and great weapons. Have them chop through here. Flashbang on these goblins. We should be gone quite soon. There's a bunch of our units that aren't quite in combat. This should be the end for Crooked Moon. Sieges are indeed a slog. They will cease to be when I have a little bit more artillery. They actually made it on in. We'll give these guys more armor. And chop them apart. We've actually got, it's, since it's Wednesday and it's noon, I've got tornado sirens going off, so let me, let me mute and I'll be back in about a minute. Victory, even with the, the screeching siren in the background. We, they test them in the Midwest on, uh, I guess in the South is where I'm at. They test them every, every Wednesday at noon. That's a win.
All right, it increased in volume for a moment, so we're, we're back now. That should be the end of the weird... There are eruptions for now, at least. We could sack it for a fair bit of Oath Gold. Let's just go ahead and occupy that way we can finish them off. And continue on our way. So with Ungrum dealing with all the way down to Grom Peak, looks like our northern front is secured. But now we can turn to deal with the uh, Skaven and start building up what we already have here. So cross a crack, go up to tier 3. Absolutely. The gun bad, we have the option to go up to tier 2 with a Dwarf Outpost. It's already got a Trinket Maker in, which we could leave or we could replace with the Oath Gold building. Kind of a tough call. Let's leave everything for now, though. I think it does a fair, decent bit of cash. We'll go for Empower the Guild for that growth, and we'll have you, Kevin, turn back around. Start moving to defend the home front. We'll go for Inspiring Presence to build up your troops' experience slowly. Sapper speeds up missiles uh, unit speed by 3%. Or more ammunition. I don't want them outpacing our normal soldiers, so we'll just go for more ammo. Tradition and innovation, we will soon have lots of gyrocopters in our armies. Yes. Just for the time being, we do not. It won't take long, we'll already be having more gyrocopters with the brimstone guns are decent at dealing with. I think the, one of these used to have a bonus versus large, which has been, I guess, since removed. Oh, you got the bug, they didn't heal the full. Oh, did they not? Oh yeah, so that's something we'll definitely want to keep to uh, report as well. They, they're likely aware of it, but I can definitely add my voice to the throngs there because we don't want half health gyro bombers forever. Feels like a bad time. Start trading with the western provinces. Xiao Ming considers us a strategic threat, but they like that we're trespassing on firms. Didn't realize that we had done any trespassing. No trade with the Dissenter Lords. Uh, yes. Even if the uh, petty squabbles of man are beneath us, no reason to make uh, the dragons upset. Retake the realms. Just two turns is really not that many. We could set up and grab some gyrocopters. I think so. And then we can come through and refill on quarrelers as well. Yeah, bugs are unfortunate, but that's not one that's going to break the game at all. That should hopefully be a pretty quick fix for him. Pretty much. Got an event, the Migration. A great migration comes to our borders, demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? Uh, now we'll take the migration. More growth. Royal Clan is entitled to the, its tithe. The Reckoner is guaranteed that the guilds pay up. Time to grow troops. We'll have Devin sprint on back towards Mount Squighorn. I'm going to stop him in the high place, though. That way we can control going and not get ambushed by any escape and that might be marauding down here they are definitely living in correct drawn will likely be our next conquest unless Tretch forces our hand we'll see what Rictus is up to one more turn for Thorgrim to sit up here and grab the helicopters we will then come on down south I'm gonna let Kevin recruit the quarrelers here in Squighorn you should be able to reach next turn no problem and then you can pass them off into Thorgrim's army. Go down with clans, and we will swing to gather the throngs and all the way into Masterwork Crossbow. So it's going to take us quite some time. It would be very worth it. Because we'll show off what we're all doing. So first, speed for infantry. Next, recruitment cost reduction for infantry. Then more armor and speed for corollars and range. Down to reload time reduction. Excellent stuff. 
Two more turns before our Age of Reckoning kicks off, and we are into... Looks like we're into the Gorm rank. Trom is the one that's highlighted, but you get the rank as soon as you... As soon as you complete it, so we're not gonna... We'll probably get Gorm, or Trom, that is. Unless we get real lucky. There will come a point where if the bug becomes too egregious, we can just kick those units out and replace them with new ones. We just will lose the veteran C, which would be sad, but we can work around it. Rolling Dwarven Song contains many verses in a concert rhythm, used to keep in step and up the pace. We need a non-aggression pact with 81. That's very late. Come on down into Squighorn's area of protection. We'll go ahead and upgrade that as well. What? what? Rudge Bear, come on down and march to the high place. Tretch is very close, but I think he's going to be dealing with Chaos Dwarves too much to worry about us. We need to be kind of uh, wary of how much damage we do to the Chaos Dwarves' natural enemies as well, because that'll only help them out in the long run. Want to spend any more gold elsewhere? If any, we're probably the World's Edge Archway, so we can put it in the walls and hold the rats outside. Alright, Kevin. If we can't afford both crossbow teams that I want, we'll go ahead and do something different. Yeah, so I won't upgrade that for now, then. I would love to recruit more crossbows instead. Don't underestimate the insanity of the Skaven. Never. They are likely to attack us when I'm least, least prepared for it. What? Cafe. Still just the center lords, huh? Not a trade agreement I'm willing to go for. Barak Var wants to confederate. If we do this, we are then putting ourselves at risk to all the greenskins in the area and Scrag as well. So I'm going to let him hold the line on his own for now. Oh, I'm tempted, though. Let's do it. I King doesn't I leave his own out to, what you have to dry, even if it's we'll it going to hurt us in the long run. Gold. Our oaths come first. Send away the Reckoners. An agreement is in place. What? So now we can sign trade with Karakirn. My throng stands ready. Do not disappoint. Absolutely. I agree. We're going to need all the gold we can take. Negative 1,460. Perfect. You're an underway stance, so we can't move you anywhere, which is just the best. Demon Slayer. Do you have a Demon Slayer? Hang on now, I don't even have the... I do not have the DLC activated, so if you confederate someone with a Demon Slayer, you can use them. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show him, though. So I'm not going to go into his skill tree right now, but we have ourselves a Demon Slayer. So you can kind of look at the, the prerequisite stats. He looks horrifying. Better disband him. I, yeah, I think we better. Sorry, Yosef. Listen, you look awesome. Soon. Yeah, the helicopters are already on their way. Ready. I'm doomed. Now let's get rid of these miners. Let's get rid of it a couple of Dobby warriors. And he was an expensive lord, wasn't he? Then hopefully we can hold the line with this. That is so many Dobby. That is so many green skins. We're in trouble. So the plan is. We'll have Kevin give these Quarlers over to Thorgrim. Kevin will rotate up, grab some more gyrocopters, and then move to intercept. We could just go ahead and give Ranka Hills and Brock Var over to one of the other factions, which I'm thinking we might want to, just one of the other Dobby factions. 
Greetings, kin of I must give No, I can't. What can I do for you? What about Karakadren? I'll make them hold the line and I'll take their gold. I don't want to find a way to old. game this one. How may I oh, I can't. Okay. Day. Has to be it has to be adjacent. Well yeah, with the I guess with the, the new changes to how the, the initial Year one settlements have both miners and dwarf warriors. Their armies are always going to be a little bit better now because they could just recruit warriors that much easier. I'm gonna have to get rid of one more of these guys though. I'll keep all the blasting charge miners because they'll be good at clearing away groups of rat gashes men. We'll just get rid of these guys. Summon me if you dare. And one more blasting charge. My axe Hurts me, but we'll we'll go for it. We can get in some ogres if we want. Yeah, I guess we could try. This crack really doesn't like us very much. Past trees with Barak Var, Hiran, and Zufbar are gonna make him despise us. Foulest meat. We could declare war on the border princes to try to smooth things out. This is gonna be spicy though. And we have to try to hold the realm. We'll see if we can. Available? Not yet. We can't afford. We can't afford it if we lose anything. So we will wait on any of that. Kind of hold back our gold just in case. Right, the turn is again ours, and the Age of Reckoning is complete, and we have be uh, gained the Trom. So that's the level we finished at. So we resulted in temporary effects now acting upon our faction, and we were very aggressive, and we only got to the middle of the Age of Reckoning. So that means we kind of need to let some factions build up some grudges before we strike out to take them down. Uh, now we're not going to delay the Reckoning because we were currently sitting in a bad one, so we're going to go ahead and enter a new Age right away. Age of Reckoning has concluded. A new Age of Reckoning must begin. No dwarf shall rest until all grudges have been struck from the book. Those who relent must prove themselves in kind. And that just takes us out of the Elgi. Age of Re Elgi is the lowest you go. You're an elf. Right, in battle gives us Armor of Fortune, which we will immediately give to Thorgrim. Send me to vengeance. Dragon Helm's great, but the Armor of Fortune is always better. Oh, I'm gonna have himself a Dragon Helm, since I'm likely gonna have him in the uh, blast radius for most of our any of our fire units for the coming the future. Do we move down to start engaging with weak, or do we move to attack? I don't know if we want to get on the Chaos Dwarves bad side right now. Though fighting their enemies is just gonna make them our buddies. How weird would that be? Well, it looks like Scabby Eyes decided to go fight someone else. So who are they at war with? They're going after Kirk here. So we could take the opportunity to. It's terrifying that he has a second army already. We could take the opportunity to go after this army here, led by Sly. Spite would then turn around and come after us at Barak Var. I think these lads could hold the line easily in a siege. Let us begin. The strong agree. We can't quite reach Doc Karaz, so let's just fall back into Barak Var for now before we get too goofy. Will be settled. Good thing the spider trial with creeping death. Yeah, it will make you go to war with someone soon. Oh, they absolutely will. And it's definitely not like I'm trying to hold back on our wars either. Just trying to find the best place to commit our forces. That's not what I wanted. Hunting Lodge. So I'll let Spike, Backbiter, and everyone kind of move on through. Scrag and everyone, they should be going after the Border Princess. So we should turn around hopefully soon. If he doesn't, Birnoth can hold the line of Barak Bar. 
What? Evan, you going to march? That ping pong between the cities, so we're still retaining the most amount of control. Oh, I forgot to give him his uh his quarrelers. <laughs> Such is the way. Let's come down and grab them ourselves. Yeah, toward them. All right, come on back. This clicks being what they are. We'll survive. We'll be able to move any further, so we'll get these quarrelers, and that puts us up to 18. Onward. I almost want to get rid of some of Evan's soldiers here. Remember your Astrogoth campaign and how much of the pain the Dawi were? They became a problem. The Slayer King was attacking us almost every couple turns with just a whole squad of Slayers. It was great. Income from mines, gold mines, and quarries. We're going to go ahead and go for the deep resource extraction now. Boost up our economy. I can't recruit any more uh, helicopters or anything else that I want until then. We've got these grudge settlers that I'd love to pop on in, but we need our economy to uh, sort out. So we've got one grudge thrower, one quarreler with great weapons, one slayer, and then one longbeard. We'll be putting both of these two in Thorgrim's army almost right away. want to make sure our income is sorted out. And from there, we are going to strike out against weak, unless Tretch forces our hand. That is the plan. All right. Get through, and we'll end the turn. Talk, then, but I make no oath for the surety of your Ooh, looks like war is sooner rather than later. He's going to go after the smaller settlement, likely. Ooh, I was wrong. Maximum aggression for Scrag. Ogres are scary because they can just knock down chunks of the wall willy-nilly. Alright. Siege of Barkvar. Can the Dawi hold the line or are they doomed to become a ribs? Delicious barbecue. Right. How is Scrag deploying? Lots of choke points mean they lose their mobility indeed. I want to make sure I pull our own guys off the walls faster than I normally do. It's probably a safe bet to hold in these two positions here. And try to have the rest of our troops, if they lose their position on the wall, fall back. Do the same thing over here, though, where we set up on this, because this is going to be where all the reinforcements are coming in from. Hmm. All right, let's get all my warriors so I know what I've got to work with. Find a nice open zone here. There's the normie warriors. Here's the great weapon variant. All of our miners with blasting charges. Which are going to be very useful for clearing out Noblars, and I'm probably pretty good at dealing with Ogre Bulls, too. Very low armor is going to hurt them immensely. Let's go Thunderers over here to try to deal with Scrag. Really not lucky that our towers aren't upgraded yet. Yeah, I think this will be... I like to try to hold up front here, but we may just want to fall back to the, the back zone. Ogres are so much faster than we are. But while there are choke points, they move much more quickly than we do. But yeah, we'll try to we'll try to have the final zone be up here. So we'll have the Lord, Master Engineer. That battle was indeed epic. Hopefully we can uh, recreate it here. I want I'm trying to get a lot of our elite missile fire 
focused on Scrag. As soon as they do hit the walls, we need to run. May not be able to shoot him. We can try, though. Minus. We really only have three Quarrelers. That is a terrifyingly small amount. Our engineer doesn't actually have resupply. I'm ready to do as much damage as we can there. The Thunderer should be able to do a lot to Scrag. We've got our engineer ready to stop them as well. I'll just grab a couple of these miners since they do move the quickest. Have them set up on, not outside, that'd be a nightmare for them. Just on the towers that we have left, that way we can get everyone blast to get our enemies here. Miners. These miners as well. Yoink. That will do. The clubs unite! We want our grudge throwers in a place they can actually do some damage. So right here is probably the best call for them. We're unlucky they're going to get more, quite a bit of friendly fire damage, but we're not unlucky. We can blast Greg to bits. Ooh, this is terrifying. Yeah, I think we're just going to kind of set up for a Helm's Deep style last stand. I might need to uh, leave one or two Dobby Warriors to kind of stay back and hold the line just in case. Leave like one. The ancestors. I do think we want to save our miners till the very end, so... Miners. Plan is we're gonna send them out in front of the dwarf warriors. We have them like this, so they're kind of in between, and then we'll pull them back once the enemy comes in. We'll have a secondary group of miners behind them. Just the ultimate blob fight at the end here. want all of them fighting at once. And Scrag has some nasty spells. We'll have to see what he exactly has. You're up front. Do you, do you have the fist yet? Is the fist style attack where they get their, the maw erupts from the ground? Nope, just Brain Goblin. Sword of Anti-Heroes is terrifying, but we should hopefully be able to get away. All right. If they want to save for cannon towers, so in the meantime, let's get this going. Fire on Scrag, please. Anything else because it works for me. All right, uh, Thunderers, let's make sure you and everyone else is blasting at Scrag as soon as you're able. Fire on it. Scrag. Groups have discovered hidden foes. Man, they move up fast. Alright, crossbows, you guys start moving back. They made it to the walls. You guys stay there. Zwoom all the way over. You guys also come on fall back. hit Scrag, it'd be awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen because he's so close to the walls. Right, everyone else run. Run, run, run. A lot of the Thunderers up front here because they should be able to actually fire up the tops, hopefully. We're four years up. You guys also need to run quite soon. We didn't get that much damage, which is scary. All right, three Quarler teams in. I'm going to leave the miners back. You guys can come on up and plug up one of these choke points. That'd be great. Use the miners to sneak in and grab points as the enemies flee from them. Get ready just in case they do make it through the walls. Coming through pretty quickly. You guys stay here. 
it's an unfortunate job, but someone's got to do it. Six sixty damage. Let's do it. Speed things along as our towers. Do as much work as possible. So it begins. Yeah, here come all of the ogres. The only good news is if we do lose Barak Bar, we're no longer paying for this upkeep, but man, that is some bittersweet good news. Scrag's in. Right, you boys need to move back here, grudge throwers. No telling if you can actually make it, but might as well try. Miners go throw hands with the Noblars. If you can get some shots, actually be a Better idea to get you running, wouldn't it? Find your targets. Get you running. We need everyone for the final, the final siege here. If they're not coming through this other side, it'd be a good idea to get ours in there as well. Our miners are actually holding the line pretty well against these Noblars. Not doing so well against Scrag. Just kind of chopping miners to bits. I actually think we want to probably hold this middle zone. To be fair, they are Noblars. That's true. But when you're controlling Noblars, they actually fight pretty well against uh, normal dwarf warriors. We just want multiple towers instead of worrying about cannons specifically. Warlers are coming on back nicely. Thunderers are as well. Those miners are fleeing right out the side. Scrag is regenerating as well, which is not lovely. Right, 1400, here's a cannon tower. Noblar is in there capturing it in this zone. If we can spot them with any of our grudge throwers are moving so slowly. Ranged firepower ready. Zones falling left and right. These towers are absolute MVPs, though. Last to go at these Noblars as they try to come on in. Hold the line, miners. The rifles up front. You better run. Scrag smells artillery crew. And then come on through. Up the top. And through pretty much all of our gates now. Miners up to 62 kills. We've lost quite a few of them, though. They're pretty much as given as good as they've got. These dwarf warriors got ran over. They're just there to be a, a tar pit for a moment. It's a rough job. Someone's going to do it, though. Go. Where are the other tower positions here that we can utilize? There's so many that are controlled by this position here. Together, one of our capture points is gone. We'll go ahead and grab piercing tower or wait for the cannon. Oh, we're going we're gonna to lose this zone as well. Yes, They're standing just outside. But in comes the gorgers. Oh, they actually managed to catch our thunderers. Everyone with a gun, start blasting. Sasso charges away. Chop those gorgers to bits. Guys try to go around the gorgers. They are going to be completely unbreakable. Here comes another group. Our, our grudge bearers are gone. Wait 
quickly. Oral teams. I need you guys to advance to as far up as you can. You drop your equipment and try to flee. I don't think it's gonna work, because even if they drop their equipment now, they're, they're just soldiers now. Right now, things are getting real. That zone's going away as well, so we've only got the one explosive tower. The way. Fall back. Bring the Lord back as well. Gorgers need to go. More than pretty much anything else here. Maybe they might not have to advance to fire, but we were a little unlucky there. Let's turn your numbers so you can thin these uh, miners here. Four satchel chargers away. Obliterated our own miners. Lovely to see. Go to this group maybe instead. Quarrelers blast this slaughter master. Don't do that if you have to advance and then we'll have to keep a close eye. Fall back there, Lord. There's so many ogres. We're gonna run out of ammo before the ogres run out of the uh, lads. Which is gonna be scary. We'll wait for them to actually take out this group and then we'll kinda bring our miners on down to capture some zones behind them. Pick them off. This feels like a battle to be in a book. I agree. Thunderers, you fall back. We'll sit in some of our warriors. Uh, you're picking bad targets. Go after these Noblar trappers. If things currently stand. We've got plenty of warriors. Slaughtermaster is gone. Take them off fire at will. Because we need to take down Scrag if we can find him. Our normal warriors actually have the armor to hold against bulls for forever. Did that cannon tower get manned by an ogre? Why is the Wazak shooting at us? I don't know, but it goes in the book. Pull the Thunderers back so they can actually get some shots. Miss the distinct faction tower is a mod a little bit. Give us some cool Dawi towers. Ooh, getting charged by those Noblars, they have made a crucial mistake. You fall back a little bit, we're starting to lose a bit of ground. Let's send in some more warriors. Throngs of Dawi. Also, I forgot to say it, welcome on in there, that random guy. Glad to have you. For the epic siege of uh, Baragamar. Scrag is clever, he's standing well away. So we'll let our coral teams help with a few of these ogre bulls. It's gonna blast at. Be able to shoot it just that giant blob there and get a ton of kills. Doesn't matter. They're gonna hit someone no matter what. Where's my lord at so he's not getting too caught up in fights? What spell do we just get hit with? Dismember. We can move slower. We duh, we aren't worried about that. Yeah, we're hurting them badly. Poor ogres. Their low armor makes sieges against Dawi very tough. Those Noblars are trying their best, though, throwing whatever wrenches they can find. 
Alright. Quit shooting at ours, guys. Shoot the knob bars. Thunder is apparently having a hard time finding any shots, so we'll just let this hack let them get destroyed. Cannon Tower still doing far more damage to our own than to the enemy. Well, it doesn't do any friendly fire damage, but it's trying to. Alright, we're out of ammo on our quarrels. You guys fall back? Let's have the rifles come to the top of the hill where they can hopefully get some shots. I'll move these normal warriors forward a bit. Into the blob. Charge them in. Send everyone into battle. Battle of pure attrition. Of which we have the advantage. And Scrag's just sitting over here. Look at him. I mean, I could fight, but that's far too much work. Better to let the Ogre Bulls charge in instead. It's a bad day to be an ogre. Give him another volley. Sadly, we don't get the same Chaos Dwarf uh, love where they actually have full reload animations. You still have to have your mods for those. They use the force to actually get the bullets on and it's great. Or they 3D print them. That has carrying a giant pot on his back. He is. But he's also a pretty good fighter, so he should be in here throwing hands. That pot is less carried and more hooked in gratuitously. Those are those are straight up into his skin. Dragging this thing around would suck. It is a reckoning! I mean, I think we've got him. We'll speed, we'll speed the battle up. All our, our miners lost to the team of Noblars. We're not mad. We're just disappointed. Chop the rest of these clowns up. They are getting some damage from the Noblar traps. But I'm thinking leadership should... Oh, we've got an entire another army to fight. All right, then. We've got plenty of Dawi. Let's pull these guys back since they're not actually fighting. And them, too. Let everyone else do the bulk of the work here. I'm going to have these Thunderers stop firing. We've got a whole other army over here just waiting. Any Dobby who are pursuing, you better quit it. Guard mode for all of you. You come on back up the hill, though. Get that sniper ready for Scrag who's starting to move on over. So that all of our warriors are still moving into combat like fools, so we'll bring them back. Just make a big blob. Miners up front. You guys move up and shoot Scrag, that'd be awesome. He's visible, go ahead and give him give him the business. Deal with Scrag, I think the ogre should just turn and flee. We already dealt with the first Slaughtermaster, no problem. I'm back to here. These Dwarf Warriors can go hunt them some Noblars. Only they can do it. Alright, rifles. Shoot. Shouldn't need to move that far forward. He's a huge target. Maybe they're being blocked slightly, so let's bring them up the hill. 
maybe they can shoot with this much elevation. Or Fuller's also in. What happened with you guys? Well, that's that's perfect. Is it in the miners to get them out? Scrag's getting chopped up. We'll send in the Dwarf Lord to give him a little bit more. Good thing they didn't bring any fire bullets. Good thing they didn't have any true castles. Scrag has some skills that can be pretty devastating if uh, he had them. I mean, the Maw is terrifying. It would have ripped our Dawi to pieces. I know you can see him. We just come on in here. There's plenty of, there's plenty of visibility. Right in his little noggin. Or you can just watch him annihilate our lads. One of the two. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of great weapons left over. Would love for my rifles to actually do some work though. Like that's not gonna happen until Scrag gets a bit closer. Maybe we can move these guys out of the way. Cross the teams. If you could go for these trappers, that'd be awesome. Meanwhile, just move everyone out of the way so our handguns can shoot. He's a huge target. This should be no problem. You get shots when possible. And more range and ammunition. Miner's gonna go ahead and charge out and get taken out. I didn't get them on guard mode, but like everyone else did. There we go. Ooh, you are now in the open. Pickaxe to the knee. I think he's he's lucky he's still walking. Just one more volley. There he goes. Big Chunky has been felled. There's still the remaining army to deal with, but now... It's gonna be like that, is it? Get him. lads that have been recovered from their terror, so we'll come on down and grab this capture zone. Surround these iron fists and questions the act. We still have the hunter back here. They're doing everything they can to keep their leadership. What is going on? In fact, we might be able to bring our rifles forward. Start capturing some zones back. So if you quarlers come on down and grab this zone. As soon as we've dealt with... You guys come on back and let the Great Axes come on in and deal with them. Great Axes and Armor-Piercing uh, armor Miners. They're gone. You go ahead and move up. We're going to fire on him with our rifles. Absolutely, you go ahead and follow. We'll bring the axes with, and then we'll have the warriors move up and capture zones. We don't necessarily need to move up, but we can use Baranoth here to lock it. The enemies in. All our trappers is always fun. You guys come over and help out with them. Come on down. As I grabbed all of the weekend miners, you guys come on and grab this position. Same thing with the quarrelers. Kazuka, Kazukitha. 
Indeed, we've captured some zones back, so it's time to get cracking. Put in a trap there so no one's coming back through. Chop them to bits. Thunderers, come on up. Have these dwarf warriors be a uh, distraction? Oh, they're getting, getting some nice side shots through. Those trappers are getting chopped up. Send more in. With the destroyed towers, we can't rebuild, but... Might be able to put in a platform to refill our ammunition. Let's put one in here. Already put in a trap there, so there's no no changing that one. Last charge of the ogres. Ooh. That's going in the book. We just need to push to delete Scrag from the map at this point. Oh, I agree. Move now. You basically crippled him, which means the Border Princes actually have a chance to fight back. They normally get destroyed, so I agree. We'll do what we can. Put you guys on destroy these clowns mode. Thunderers are amazing. Here comes another set of Sabertooth. Cities of Doom. Yes, yes. There's actually a team of Noblars over here? Really? Well, not for long. Where's all our towers at? Is anyone hiding? They're not going to be happy. Take down that hunter. Lots of enemies on the side. Let's see about sending in our uh, engineer. Trench this group. Right, there goes the hunter. That should be the final leadership bump we need. And these ogres are willing to fight to the bitter end, aren't they? Lure them in, and then we'll go for a nice, juicy flank. Oh, there's two units of them. Alright. Let these warriors come back around, because our Thunderers are getting caught. Might have overextended a little bit here. All crossbows come back up. Definitely are about to lose. Oh, we can't get into position, can we? Engineer, come back around. We should have kept you here. That was a huge mistake. We're gonna charge into the Thunderers. We actually have a pretty decent ability to fight, but not not against that many ogres. Are we gonna throw it here at the end? Oh, perhaps. It's de definitely a possibility. One up. Because uh, we may have just... Oh, good grief. Showing off these skills proper. You guys fall back a little bit. Noblars are just kind of streaming in. They're actually a pretty big good threat. Not really sure how you managed to flank there. That's my own... Uh, failings I've ever saw one. Things got a little bit more desperate out of nowhere. Start chopping through these saber tusks, and you go after the ogre, ogre bulls. Well, the hunter came back. That's what was going on. He's fully gone now. Go ahead and entrench these lads. They're not taking as much damage. Resistance is going to be useful there for sure. Consolidate our lads. And not lose this battle, man. Oh, 
Luckily, it's just Noblar's left, so we should have the armor, thankfully. And I got rough, though. Thunderers, you guys fall back a little bit. No reason to get destroyed. Uh, they're fortified, so they're going nowhere. You chase off these ogres. And that's the victory. These Noblars are fighting to the bitter end. It's impressive. How much leadership are they down to? 24 is still more than you'd expect after what's been happening. Really? They're gonna go hit that zone. We'll set these lads down here to deal with this group of remaining Noblars. That's the end for the Ogres. I love it. This group of Noblars is still fine because they're hiding out here behind the... What a bizarre siege. They still have so many units left. What is going on? Those Noblars are hiding all over the place. There's two whole units of Ogre Bulls out there? Just break and run, we've got you on army losses. Come on back just in case they decide to come on inside. Hobby leadership wins again. Well, I mean, ogre leadership is uh, apparently better than it seems. I'm here and start chopping. They're just fast enough to be able to run away from our lord. Alright, we need to give you a little bit of cleanup there outside. Because they're just keeping all their units well away from us. I'm not coming to get you, so... It's just more towers. Let's go cannon towers to help deal with the big chunky ogres. I am beyond surprised that they were willing to fight this for this long. We want to just downgrade these. Are these Noblars? Yeah, we'll just keep them on explosive towers then. I think that went well. Yeah, they're the only two there. They're called the Corlers and the Engineers are fine. Everyone else is extremely injured. We can refill ammunition on the, the barriers. I've completely forgot. Probably tell how long how many times we've had a, a siege go this long. Almost never. Some more oak you're down to five guys and no leaders. How are you still fighting? Are they break and run again? Let's keep them next to the towers, which seem to uh, apparently have lost their ability to fire. We're taking a baiting. Let's here to replenish some ammo. Well, come on up and replenish ammo wherever you can. Thunderers do the same. Was it just being near it that replenishes the ammo? That's great. But you come on over here and stand next to it. Hilariously, some of our guys are ready to run. This is the most the uh, to the bitter end I've ever seen. And dwarf short ribs are apparently up here. Yeah, let's start refilling our bullets then. Oh, 
Well, it's the wrong kind. Let's switch this over to the platform. That way we can actually refill ammo. Speed this up a little bit. Our miners are being slain to the, the bitter end. The, uh, the last man there. Uh, turn and blast them with some crossbow bolts. That'd be great. Our miners flee with 27 left. Their ogres will hang on until oh, Ragnarok. I guess they become squatters. They're just not leaving. All right. They're going to sit outside the walls and force us to come to them. That is rather strange. I'll speed things up. Have the Lord come up top here with the Master Engineer. Then everyone else will let replenish some ammo. And then we'll send them in to hunt down the rest of these ogres. Oh, here comes one. Lord moving by himself is probably a... I think here comes some Noblar Trappers right through the middle. You go catch him. The rifles turn around and go after him. Shoot! Move now! Go! He's actually going to capture the zone. You come on back and try to catch him. This is weird. Looks on them, they go hungry faster than you. Exactly. For mountain and hog. We demand blood. Good old Dawi friendly fire. Thunderous. Die. Come on. Let's not lose this zone. A never-ending story here. Right, that group of Noblar Trappers has gone. There it is, finally. Army losses at last. Good grief. Yeah, at least for the Dawi, those platforms have the ability to replenish ammo. It is, I think, only up to 20%, so you can't replenish all of it, uh, but you can sit there and... This looks like well more than 20%, but you should be able to. Yep. We'll go ahead in that battle. That was was quite the fight. Argvar holds. Oh yeah, any any ammunition replenish is great. Up to 20%? That's fantastic. That's uh several more kills for each of your missile troops. The AI absolutely has gained awareness of the stall you out strat. They are they use all sorts of weird cheesiness that I think they are they've started implementing over time. I don't, the AI has always done a bit of weirdness, but they they use cheese much more often. Makes me think they're learning. Full disclosure: I was rooting for the ogres. Eh, fair enough, I was too. Especially near, 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 there near the end, where they started using the uh, cheese strats. You deserve to win if you want it that much. Psych, we want it more. Unfortunate that most of our losses go to Birnoth's army, but I guess that's going to help our, our upkeep a bit. Uh, we will take... Ooh. We'll take Drink to Victory. Grog. Bullthug and Crud remain. Scrag is now crippled. Yeah, but he's already recruiting more, so momentarily crippled. It drinks on Birnoth for sure. After holding Barak Varen, face of that many ogres. Mission issued trading places. Gar, Arat, and Scrag were slain, so we get Maul's the Pity. Gives us 10% less miscast chance. For our, uh, Mage Birnoff, and then more wins of magic. Utterly useless. Thanks to the guild, dwarves excel at getting resources out of the ground, no matter how deep. Only gonna help our income for the long run. And now... Let us begin. We were crippled as well, though, so... Moving on either of these armies is gonna be kind of threatening. 
to war. We can just chuck in some grudge settlers, though. Add some slayers to the mix. No matter how. Oh, no Balrogs here. It is time. Scrag doesn't look very crippled, I can't lie. He came out of that fight alright. Use some of that gold to hopefully get. The more I'm thinking about it, the more we may not want Kevin in our, our armies anymore. At least for the time being. So Kevin, I'm going to have you sprint up the high place and watch the world's edge. While we deal with things over here in the hills. I'm going to have Thorgrim come through and hit her on Drong. And before we leave Squighorn... I will go ahead and recruit in those other Grudge Bearer units. My beard Meaning the Grudge Throwers and the Corollers and Great Weapons. Ooh, here at Karaz Crack, it's time to make some money. Gem Cutter's Workshop sounds fantastic. It's also going to drop our upkeep for Iron Breaker and Hammer units. Just more Guild Marketplace as well. We need troops to deal with... Bull Thugs Company. So let's just go ahead and grab some of these Grudge Settlers. Armor Sundering and Anti-Large means that they'll rip apart pretty much any Ogre Bulls we throw them against. They're just expensive. For the wisdom of the The Inspiring Presence and Thunder, I've lost my voice a little bit here, so I'm about to take a quick break while I grump up and snag some snacks and a refill on our water here. Water and coffee, both. Take the opportunity to do so yourself, and we will reconvene here in about 10 minutes. Hopefully a little bit sooner than that, but about 10 minutes. So I'll go ahead and grab... Ooh. Thunderer here. Or Birnoth. Just a decent ability, isn't it? Alright, we'll probably give him also the Master Rune of Spite. For throwing hands with... Oh, he has no rune slots. Why is that? Perhaps a bug, or is this meant to be like that? We'll come back in about a moment and do some investigating.
All right, and we're back. Got me some more coffee and some homemade Parker House rolls because the lady wizard is her magic is in delicious baking. So I think we are going to strike on out and deal with Bullthug if we can, and then we'll circle back to Crud. There's a pretty good chance that they're going to go ahead and run from us, but if we can't force them to, let's do it. Besides the victory with medium casualties, this is going to be one we have to fight. We have lots of forced fight battles going forward here. That's just fighting. Gives us the opportunity to keep training with the Dawi. Oh yes, indeed, culinary, culinary magics. Slayers are gonna blend through the ogres. I can't wait. Cannot wait. Okay. So this is the map where we have our access to the pretty useful uh, choke point up on the top of the hill, but I think we're gonna try to avoid it because we aren't quite as fast as the ogres. We'll just use the cliff face then as a uh, choke point itself. So we'll go Thunderers. Keeping our flank safe from any nonsense. Normal dwarfs. It is a reckoning. It is a reckoning. We definitely need to get them access to some proper quarrelers as well. Get axes over here and over here, and then we'll have the slayers ready to rush up. Definitely want to make sure that the bombs aren't getting used anywhere near our slayers because they will not appreciate it. It's a bit like this. We have scores to settle. We have scores to settle. Frontline miners. Grudge thrower will move to about here. We've only got one of them, but it can harass whoever it wants. We'll have it trying to hit. Gonna be slaughter match is gonna be an issue. Oh, he's a beast. That means block of doom, which is gross. All right, battle again. We're lobbing shots at the dual weapons. Everyone else, start moving in. I'll leave these great weapons here just in case. Right, we'll start dodging, so we'll switch targets right away. I don't want to move too much further up here. So they're already going to rampage. That's great, means they're just going to dirtle around in one spot with the rampage changes. Our one grudge thrower is doing a pretty bad job of hitting our slaughter master here, so let's go after the dual weapons once more. I'm going to let them move to us. If I get our lord close enough, they will just charge us too. 150 meters, so let's see. Ooh, actually, we got a little bit of splash damage there, which is not bad. You kind of constantly switch targets, otherwise we are going to uh, hit nothing. We don't want both explosives moving in. Oh, really? You don't want to fight? I thought you did. Every time I have the Lord try to chase them, they turn and run. That's quite funny. All right, back in the line with you then. Miners going back, no reason to keep advancing. Figure they take enough damage or they come over here after us, but they are dodging our artillery like champions. In that case, let's move these guys over. We'll keep a couple warriors just in case. And we'll send these guys up and up the hill. Oh, they see that we're changing plans and now they're going to move forward. Alright. Thunderers, you hold here. Keep harassing the normal weapon team. 
Explosive miners move in and deal with those Noblars. Rifles need to go after the Slaughtermaster. Looks like they're going to try to flank wide with those beasts, which makes sense. All right, all right. Get them caught up. You have to come all the way through and go after these hounds. They've done a great job of stopping us. They don't have a lot of armor piercing, though, so we should be able to mess them up. Oh, they're going to go all the way around, huh? Oh, they're going after our artillery teams. Good idea. Keep blasting who you can. Thunder as you come on through. You can be pretty quick at dealing with them. Slayers absolutely annihilated the bulls, but now they've got magic down on them, which is going to be no good. We need to get the bulls quickly and then get out of there. Oh, they've lost so many already. Ogres have really got a huge bump in their uh, leadership. There's all sorts of unfortunate. Alright, they're gone. Keep bombing on to that group. Rifle should see him off quite soon. Why didn't you keep chopping up those Noblars? Fighting the Ogres is all sorts of stressful. Let's make sure none of these guys escape. Actually, we have Slayers can keep up with the Noblars now. Alright, Lord's down. Can you actually catch the Noblars? A little bit too late, I think. We get one volley. Chop the trappers a bit so that we don't get too much of that extra damage on, and then we're not going to get any more with our artillery. Slayers did blend through the Ogres, but the fact that they had any trappers left over was, uh, was bad news. Chop that team up, because I don't think we'll be able to catch the next. We'll try our best, though. Would have definitely been a scarier fight without them. In the battle. I'll take it. Grudges crossed off the book, although I don't think Bullthug had yet generated any grudges yet. He was too new and too lame. Gotta love Slayers. Indeed. Plus, this loot group is extra crazy where uh, when they drop below 25% health, they get even stronger buffs. Uh, kind of similar to Ungrim does. Oh, absolutely. Glass cannons, indeed. Although, I would, I would argue that, well, Flagellants aren't really cannons, are they? Just more glass. Glass men with maces. Alright, only 51 loss, so it could have been much worse. If we can go ahead and replenish up more than we lost, that would be perfect. So 7% replenishment. Bullthug slain. And now can we rotate to deal with Crud? Which is again an unfortunate name. He's got a lot of trappers, which is not good for us. Everything that isn't a steam tank is made of glass, and that steam tanks have gotten even better now, where they have access to really strong shields. But we can't let him re recruit anything. We gain an additional catapult, that's good. You're in victory. Oh, you're gonna make me fight this one too there, crud. Onward to the field. Oh, this one's going to be a little bit more risky for sure. But one of those where we have to take the uh, take the risk. If we let him recruit more troops, especially in his own territory, we are going to be dealing with a ton of ogres here next turn at Barakvar. We ourselves don't replenish that fast. If I can take this army out and then circle back to replenish, that'd be my ideal. We'll see if we can make it happen, though. This one is incredibly open, but we could use this rock as cover. Let's go weaker. Miners holding this line while the other two have the front. 
And as soon as those Noblars show themselves, we are going to feed them as many explosives as we can. They are going to be a huge issue for our, uh, our Slayers here. In fact, the Thunderers might be in charge of dealing with them before anything else. Higher groups of Ogres here make this dangerous battle, but I believe. Oh yeah, we're not leaving this defensive formation. I need to get them set up, and then we we stay here. Lord Slayers, and then you guys come on over as well. Something like that looks great. All right. Frontline, Miners, Thunderers, and Drudge Throwers. Let it begin. We're going to take the defensive position up to here. That way they are coming along the rocks. There we go. Approach throwers can't really see anything, so firing on the Saber Tusk, not a great idea. But it's one we're going to go for, because if they can hit anything at all, that's models we don't have to deal with as they get closer. I'm not going to waste too many shots, though, so if they start dodging, I'll immediately cut this nonsense out. That might have actually got some splash damage. I wonder how far along the camp at Akendorf is, depending on how thoroughly this acts, how you act this army. It may be helpful to see how much time it would be before you have to send a new stack to par. I agree. The camp will pick us up another army quite soon. Doing a really good job of dodging us. I figure we could at least entice them to moving towards us by throwing rocks at them. Noblars will have a harder time actually dodging us. They are not keen on advancing, are they? They're just going to wiggle in case we throw rocks at them. Maybe blowing up an area is a better call. We do the alt target. Shoot more in an area instead of them, and then they won't worry about dodging it. That's likely, uh... Too hopeful. Ooh, almost. I don't want to advance, and they're not gonna they're not gonna come towards us, are they? So since we know they're here, try to bomb shots there. Even though they they are moving around constantly. We've used up a lot of our ammo too. This is great. Let's go ahead and halt fire now. Will be ours. Trying to figure out how to lure them in is going to be challenging. Because they're just going to keep doing a dance over there. So we need to take our defensive position up as far as we need to actually start hitting them with rifles. We'll go slow and steady. Otherwise, they are just going to sit there and keep wiggling the entire time and refuse to fight us. Strike out! Nothing can stop us! With how they're playing, I have plenty of questions for them. Good thing we brought lots of axes. It is a reckoning! Alrighty, you're gonna keep wiggling, you're gonna try to throw hands. They're just gonna run away. They are just going to run away. We will rotate. Some rocks actually splash down there, which is perfect. Switch targets to this big blob of Iron Fist. They should have a harder time dodging. 
axes and mining charges. Yes. For their sins are vast. As vast as their girth. That group thinks that they are big enough to block rocks with their fists. I'm here for that. A little bit of splash damage from both of those, but not... No amazing hits. Yeah, they, they, they play like actual players for sure. It's kind of funky. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of machine learning they've kind of snuck on in where they, they watch what happens, what the players play, and they, they kind of try to imitate it. It would be one of the best ways to actually increase the difficulty. Oh, here they come. We've awoken the hive. Spread the thunder is out a bit. So it begins. These axe been ready. I am going to pull these guys well wide. That way I can hopefully get these iron fists without getting caught by any nonsense. Miners fall back a bit. We want the dwarf warriors fighting ogres. Miners are in charge of dealing with Noblars. Start launching rocks. Chucking rocks. Go ahead and fall back. Looks like we thankfully got the uh, rampage. Uh, you move up to get these Noblars. You guys gonna fall back. I have to catch the Noblars. No real choice. When bomb here. Not all of them are able to keep going. Get in there, Slayers. You go after the Saber Tusks. Ooh, this is spooky. We're gonna lose those miners for sure. Let's see how well they work against the Iron Fists. We're gonna lose these uh, warriors up here too, but Slayers plus Thunderers should get rid of these ogres very quickly. Oh, nice. Uh, you keep blasting this slaughter master. Do not let him leave. Uh, miners come through. Just disrupt them as much as possible. Love the sound of gunpowder. Uh, this slaughter master might regain his uh, leadership and come after our artillery teams, which would be unfortunate, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Keep chopping up these saber tusks. Come around behind. We'll have these great axes. Chop up these trappers. You just come on in here. That'll do. Or it did come on back. Hopefully that's enough for Thunderer Volley to get rid of him. Come on. Couple more shots. Alright, boys. Now you're gonna have a bad day. Push through and we'll let these rifles turn and help out. Turn around, here comes some Iron Fists. Here came some Iron Fists. They're done. Ooh, that was spooky. Ooh, that was spooky. You guys come and chuck those grenades at whoever you can. We'll have these Dwarf Warriors fall back. And the Slayers can hopefully rip apart these Noblar Trappers as they run. Yep, keep bombing the... Ooh, not run, I keep bombing these Ogre Bulls and you guys can go after Trappers instead. There's no way you catch up with Ogres. Another rifle shot, that's probably all we're going to get there. The Noblars are pretty slow. Especially the more we're going to buff up the Missile Troops speed there. And we'll take it. Questions successfully asked. This Dawi army deserves a huge pay increase. They have fought so many ogres. 
barrel of Bugmans for each. That's all you get. Listen, not being a Dobby myself, I'm not sure how much a barrel of Bugmans is worth. If it's worth a King's Ransom, then hey. Y'all earned it. No one is actually wiped out fully. Uh, so we'll take the... Uh, re oh, it's such a tough call, actually. Do we want the experience? Or just the replenishment? Or gold? We will have to sit for a turn and replenish all the same. So let's go for... The Ransom. Crud has been annihilated, giving us a new Archivist. And now we need to run back to Barakvar. We can't make it into Barakvar. Alright, well this army is uh, in for more, it looks like. Oh, we're out Marcher, that's the way. So thankful. And from here, how many turns would it take for them to replenish? Eight. I actually think we can bind these guys up, so let's do a bit of merging. That gave us almost nothing. Perfect. Glad to see it. Friend miners as well. Those are guys are going with. Well, we might just keep them over there. Or Grim. Since we've got the gold for it. Keep it moving. My anger burns bright. Evan, I'm going to keep you here in the high place to keep Gunbad buffed up. We'll go for the gold mining pit here in Gunbad, as well as the upgrades to the Tinkerer's shop where possible. And then I'll save the population for tier 3 here at the Dwarf Keep for, for the Mount Gunbad. The Raza Karak, we've got 2k. You want to just go for a refactory to start brewing up some beer? Choice is either beer or artillery. What say you, chat? The toughest of calls. Runesmiths would be good too, but beer or artillery. Those are our choices. This just says artillery. Armrail picks gives us even more income from those gym cutters. That's pretty good. We'll come on back up to the guilds, though, or I mean clans, and come back through to the Masterwork Crossbows. Artillery totally not biased. Don't make me choose between my two loves. No, that, it must be. Beer and artillery is unfortunately not possible. Well, maybe it is. Nope, it is not. Cradle loves artillery. I that's several votes for artillery, so we'll grab ourselves a siege workshop. And hopefully the weirdy, weird goblins hiding out in the Forest of Gloom don't actually come out to do anything. They normally just sit here, but we'll we'll find out, won't we? Dwarves all dislike us because of our confederation with Barak Var. So we'll start making more deals with who we can. Try to even that out. And now the Border Princes should be able to start pushing back against, uh, against the Ogres. Just because Valmir here already has a half army. we end the turn and lose sight on Alkendorf's camp, though. I see how much... You can't see how well upgraded it is. I thought you could see the buildings in, in said camp. I mean, they've already got access to just Saber Tusks, thankfully. Year 3 might be the Mornfang, and then we're going to have a, a bad time. We need to stamp them out fast.
Alright, the turn is again ours. We have ourselves a brand new mission to capture many provinces. I think we can do that. We controlled too. Is it just bragged Wazbag and Duck Karaz to fix that up? It is, time. it is only a matter of time before these greenskins decide we're an issue and turn to deal with us. I am going to move up and hit this will. camp. We are really low on, on gold, aren't we? We can afford these long beards, which would really turn the tide for us. We just then can't afford them over with uh, Papa Thorgrim. We can take both of them as long as we're able to move. If we actually gain them the move after victory. Anat. On guard. I don't think we have any ability to replenish movement range after a win. Onward. Are there any items in our forge we can make? No. Time for a reckoning. I think we have to go for it, though. Deal with this no camp. Weaken them a bit. They will immediately spend some gold on another camp, which will weaken them quite a bit. And this builds us up 483 grudges. Auto resolve this. Be nice. We lost 123. That is ridiculous. Got an armor of destiny, though, and I think we almost need the replenishment. It's not much. We over the ogres, and Thorg has fallen. Can't quite sprint back into friendly territory, even if we could hit Varenka Hills. We love auto resolve. No, we don't. Don't lie to them. Auto resolve's mean to me every time. Or three ogre units. All you need to do is shoot them. Uh, we'll keep them here, and we'll just hit Ockendorf next turn with our our weakened crew. Now we really shouldn't. Taking down the camp was enough. We gotta hope that Fort Drag can't handle us after just recruiting for a single turn. If we are punished there, we're punished there. It's what we what we get. Is this, is this clan Verms? This is the uh, the what are they? The bug themed Skaven clan. Hey, Bok, welcome in. How are things going? Hello, Dwarf Enjoyer. I'm actually, this is probably the third or fourth ever Dolly run, so I uh, have been converted slowly here throughout the, the course of this uh, this uh, campaign. Right on up, and I'm actually going to drop into ambush, that way the rats don't think we're here. Sneakiest of dwarves. I'll leave Kevin, Evanson. To hold here at the high place. Actually, we might want to move him up to the world's edge just in case. Surprise attack. The rats seem to be, tend to be better at surprise attacks than uh, the likes of Sokka. And now, since we don't longer, no longer have to choose between beer and artillery, we grab ourselves some beer. Let us begin. All right. Out of your turn. All right, they're going to charge in. It's going to be a close victory with high casualties, and we need to fight it. So, so it begins. Are you a beast's caster? No, he's actually just a normal great maw caster, which actually gives us a little bit better of a chance to get through this without losing as many troops. Onward. The ogre's going to be a problem, aren't they? Continuously. As I'm looking over the stats here, we got 30 likes. This has been the one of the best streams and our videos we've had for quite some time, so thank you all so much for making this stream great. Here for our 5.0 uh, Dowie Early Access. Where are you hiding? We can use the trees to our advantage. So let's go ahead and have normal warriors up front. Our warriors are going to have a bad time here. 
Vigor's gonna hurt. Those Slayers are gonna need to come in clutch. Yeah, our Vigor's gonna be not looking good. My favorite faction is a three-way tie between well, at least what's currently in the game. Tomb Kings, Wood Elves. And I would say Cafe. Luckily, there's only a few squads of uh, Noblars to deal with. I also really like the Lizard Men, so they're going to have to be up there. I've got. There's too many factions I like. That's kind of the issue. You'll never want to play a Lead Belcher or Firebelly again. I, mean, I think I still will absolutely adore those units. I'm just going to be slightly more irritated at that than the normal. I'm going to hide the Slayers in the woods here. Great weapons. We just kind of want everyone hidden and ready to strike when we are needed most. So let's go Warriors back behind. Let it begin. The only real unit I need in a group. We'll let them see our Lord and they can charge into him as much as they want. 40 year sympathizer. Unfortunately, I am. Although with the changes that have come to the dwarves and the fact that we have a whole new Slayer lineup, that might be changing. We have scores to settle. Bring your hulking forms on over here. We want to see you. We're not going to see how much damage that it hit them, but not really. Not quite invisible, and this unit's kind of walking on in. I'm not sure why we've got such bad over this tree here. Going for the dodge. You'll love to see it. Slaughtermaster's going to be an issue, but if he chooses to come up front, we can pretty easily give him a, a thunderous clap and send him on his way. Send the normal Dobby Warriors out wide. Oh, here they come. Outside. Thunderers move up, deal with him. Go ahead and chuck rocks at this group next. Here come those Noblars, get the explosives ready. Normal dwarves move in. That's gonna be a hard target for us, so let's switch. Great axe weapons move forward with the uh, explosives. Here they come. Bring those slayers in. Should be an incredibly easy target now. There are some Noblars that are still hidden, so let's move our warriors up. Oh, here they are. Found them. Noblars discovered. Enemy lords down. Rifle switch shots to uh, these clowns here. We'll have them take a step back. The Slayers have been blending their way through these Ogre Bulls. You guys go after the Bulls. Great weapons, you go after the Noblars. Explosives come on back. Get a little bit of friendly fire there, but it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. Running for the hill, miners keep chucking your nades where you can. Looks like we got them. They really don't want to get satchel charges thrown at them. Let's turn in the rifles to blast at this group. Yeah, I think we've got them. Although our blasting charges need to check their fire a little bit. Thankfully, Slayers are a monster in combat, and they shrugged off those blasting charges like it was nothing. Ogre Slayer. Not even a... Not even a ray. Ogres are weak. Bring these Dwarf Warriors back. Try to let the Blasting Charges finish them off. Blasting Charges and Rifles as they run. 
can't catch the Ogre Bulls, we'll just send them after the Noblars. They should be able to actually catch them. Or maybe not. No such luck, huh? Now that you all have me at a disadvantage, what are your favorite factions? I will stay with Cathay, Wood Elves, and... Let's give us a bad guy faction, huh? Let's go. I think... Well, it's depending between Corn and Zinch. Or uh, who's funnest to play. That's probably as many as we're going to catch. Everyone came in clutch there, not just our Slayers. The Thunderer's got... Turns out you don't need to be, uh... You can be tired and still fire a rifle. Athe, Corn, Nurgle, Lizardmen. It's a pretty good lineup there. No, oh, I'll have to have the Lizard... You're right, I'll have to have the Lizardmen in my top three favorite for, for Order Factions. Right, that battle we only lost 10, and I'm going to continue to replenish up where we can here. Keep coming out of these battles with more troops than we went into them with. Fellow Dowie, it is an honor. It might not be for long, oh, he actually wants to trade. What kind of gold do you offer, Slayer King? That will do. We'll celebrate by matching blades. Actually, a duel I'd like to see. Maybe if it's just a sparring match. Orgrim versus Ungrim. Why is there groby scum in my presence? That's a good question. Looks like good old spite backbiter has chosen to bite us in the back. Go figure. I think more gets wah on the stunties. Matching axes, I guess, yeah. Clan Anger and Karak Hirn have now confederated. It's quite some time into the campaign as well. All right, Orgrim, since we can now afford your grudge growers and quarrelers, we'll go ahead and grab those guys on in. And I think we might be ready to take on that first quest battle after we gain a few more skills here at Karak Drong. Oh no, Clan Verms has been discovered. Let's not declare war on them yet. Let's see who they're fighting and then... Uh, we haven't met Karak Azul yet. How sad. So we can't play the part of mercenary right now. Just butcher. Hello, Clan Verms. No one's expecting. No one is expecting the Orgrim Inquisition. I'm not gonna fight this one. We're just gonna smush them. Foolish rats. We'll have a fight against you when we have an, a proper army. Karak Drong. We could sack for a good deal of gold. Let's do it. We're not here to make friends. Pull in a ton of Wolf Riders and Black Orcs as reinforcements. Okay. So maybe we want an additional artillery piece before going for that one. Black Orcs are pretty nasty, and we don't have a lot to do with them just yet. Alright, Thorgrim, let's grab that final point into Tradition and Innovation for 10% more range and 20% more ammo for all of our flyers. Um, can finally get this up bar 42 pounders. And correct drawn can be rebuilt. Kick out the barley field so we can see what the timber resource building is going to give for us. We've got the Woodsman's Hut all the way up to the Carpenter's Guild Hall if it's in a provincial capital. That would be insane, wouldn't it? We at least get up to tier 3, which will give us 200 income, 45 logs, and then upkeep production for all of our uh, bolt throwers and quarrelers. I mean, even grudge throwers. Awesome. Always love when the resource buildings give you something extra, a little bit of a bonus to go along with it. Kind of signifying that your faction's actually making use of those resources. Love it. My axe 
Tyrannoth is not really able to do much. We could take down this camp here. It's got several units in it. Then we've got Sly on the other side. I think dealing with the camp and forcing them to get another is going to be the best call. How much movement do we have? Plenty. I don't understand the reason to have a tier 4 resource buildings into settlement that only... Well, I guess they just didn't take it off, but some of the, only a few of the resource buildings can go all the way up to a guild hall, which is only really usable in those provincial capitals. We're gonna have to fight this one, aren't we? Really? What are you doing with my men? Ritual sacrifice? Nay. It's trying. I wouldn't be surprised if the bolt throwers receive some kind of overall uh, buff, but I haven't. I haven't used them. Haven't had any desire to use them either. Ballista are just at least the single shot ballista are just not, not very usable. Why would you use that when you could use a cannon? How to resolve the secret corn worshiper. Auto Resolve is a worshiper of the Great Maw at the moment. Minus. Let's get the lads set on up. Because the ogres will often actually come out to meet you. So we will set up with that thought in mind. Auto Resolve is for the weak. Well, the fact that some auto resolve will give you more experience and uh, casualties captured almost every single time makes it worth using in a lot of situations. And if there is a battle that you absolutely know you can't win, but for some reason the auto resolve is being kind, pretty good opportunity to use it then. I tend to like fighting the battles myself. That's the part of Total War I uh, enjoy the most. Alright, warriors, miners, and then the grudge throwers. Is there any kind of hill we can set them up on so they can fire up and over these ramshackle walls? It'd also be cool to get a little bit of a change where you can knock down sections of the camp wall. Yep, go ahead and advance, have these rifles move up, start blasting these bulls. If anyone wants to come out and get froggy, they will receive an explosive to the noggin. Take your vitamin supplements, your iron supplements. We don't do that here. Not often. We will be auto-resolving when I'm trying to speed things along, or if the battle is just so simple there's no reason to fight it. I see you don't want to fight my rifles. Everyone on in. Rifles don't come any closer, just get ready. I said don't get any closer, just get ready. That's a kit. Ha! Nice shot. Watch your heads, boys. And any other part of you that might get hit with an arrow or bullet. Rudge throwers, let's start ranging. Probably this lord here. Start forcing him to move around. Where are you going? Oh, they were talking that good ish a second ago. Bring in our miners now. You guys stop shooting for me. You're gonna shoot our miners in the backs, so that's not good for anyone. Rifles here, miners up. Have the rifles doing kind of a back-to-back -back sort of thing with the miners defending them. Slayers are things get real spicy. Righto. Move in and stop them. I 
a stair all the way down this hallway with aggression. I don't know why you kept advancing. Stand here and throw what you can at him. We'll let our lord hold the line. Players can get ready to chop apart enemy lord. You shoot down this tower. It's glorious. It did make it in. We'll send the slayers, or I guess we need to send the- yeah, we'll send the slayers. You guys move in and throw some explosives. Spread them out a bit and then send them in. Or Noblars. Weird distortion going on there, but we'll chop right through these Noblars in no time. Their 30 armor they have is nothing. You guys come on back, lure them into our rifle ambush. Like so, we'll keep them safe. Is he just messing around with you? Is he? Have you had any weird issues? Like, is the stream looking? Everything's looking good for the stream? No, no weird sounds, no, uh, no lag. Just can't get interested into the cinematic ones. That's fair. I, I know quite a bit of people who are not the biggest fan of them, and I wasn't myself back in the day. But since I know there are quite a few that do like them, not a bad switch up to our format every now and again. Let's come on in and claim your final zone here. Send the rifles up this way. I'd say we'll have the Slayers go with them. Well, if we can use the Slayers plus the Lord, we can bully this enemy uh, tyrant. Make sure these Noblars don't turn and deal with us. Make sure we don't get too isolated with our units. Enemy Lord just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Time for you to head home. Alright. Good having you for the stream, Brian. We'll slow and steady our way here through the. Ogre camp. Once we claim this zone, we won't have to worry about that tower firing on us anymore. Now it's Slayers versus Tyrant. Meet your end well, Slayers. Death by a thousand cuts to this poor Tyrant. All of his armor piercing is pretty much completely wasted here against Slayers, and they are tearing him apart quickly. All right, that's all those towers sorted and dealt with. Let the rifles deal with that tower. And what else can move on through? Resolve that I had is losing so many more, but we'll take that win and rump this camp.
that lore didn't stand a chance, and that poor tyrant surrounded by a bunch of angry, half-naked Dobby with Mohawks. Yeah, that's a, a bad place to be. We got all sorts of weirdness going on with the miles, don't we? We'll survive. Barely 18 loss there. We'll go ahead and take the replenishment once more. Dawi or Chaos Doors, which is better? Well, before this update, I would say that the Chaos Doors have a much better roster overall. Let us begin. And they still definitely have a, a much better overall roster, I would say, but I quite enjoy being the normal Dawi and trying to uh, retake the realms against all odds here. So I don't know, I would say they're pretty equal. Those uh, campaigns are lots of fun. Thunderer with you there, Bernoth. Operation Hold the Line is a go. Branca Hills has at least a couple quarrelers to hold against Ratgash, but I think the hills are not long for the world here. Lord of Clan so that means let's go for gold mine here to keep our income steadily ticking upwards. And Thorgrim got to move through. How many settlements does Clan Firms have? Two left over. We at least are going to have to deal with one more Lord. Maybe two. Thorgrim's up for it. No problem. Evan, now your, your job is just to keep an eye on Rictus. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. I can't see them right now, which makes things much worse. Uh, you kind of come out Set back in, just hold the line here at the world's edge. Go aggressive towards Black Crag by going through the underway. There's no telling if they have any rattling guns or proper artillery. Before we end the turn, let's see if there's any other trade agreements we can get City up and underway. We can with what? the Border Princes. Greetings, stranger. Let's just take the trade agreement, though we're not Sigma's will. getting too many agreements with them in case there's any factions we want to be friends with that they despise. Let's be all we can do on the diplomacy front. How far do you reckon the average dwarf ward could throw your average skaven? I'm not sure, but I know for a fact Thorgrim can chuck a Skaven quite a ways. Shot put that sucker a quarter mile. He does about that much to uh, Queek at the end times. Just gets down off the throne of power and beats him down barehanded. Ooh, hello, Ratgash. Looks like you are moving in force after Varenka Hills. That is so many orcs. Good grief. As much as I'd like to try to fight this one and hold the line, I, there's no chance. We'll come back and claim this back. It goes in the book. That uh, one goes in the book. Alright, they actually sacked a good deal of gold out of Arenka Hills. That's no fun. Joseph is ready for duty. No, you're not. You'll get my stream taken down, clown. Not today, you're not. So both these armies at once absolutely could not handle uh, Karaza Karak. But we will then... ...underway ourselves to Black Crag. I care not how many armies you're in, Black Greg. We'll deal with them. And then after that, we'll try to turn to deal with our uh, quest battle. As the High King commands. We could easily come out of Baragvar, strike Dot Karaz, and fall back, depending on how elite these guys are. We're probably going to take some damage, but I think we've got them. Ekron miners are kind of pricey. Yes. Acquired one grudge. Time to slay yeah, these guys are 1,500 and 1,000 after winning that battle. It's almost a good idea to let the enemies 
take some of your lesser important minor settlements so that they build up a huge stack of grudges. And then you just harvest it. Alright, more green skin smashing. So they are, we can probably just take this choke point here, send our slayers up to duel with uh, the goblin wolf riders. Let's get all our normal lads. Yeah, we're experiencing a little bit of lag, but we can play right on through, no problem. Let's do thunderers on either side of our warriors here. Goblin Great Shamans are a little bit smaller targets than uh, Ogre Bulls and Tyrants, so maybe they'll struggle here. Right. Minor annoyances up front here in this gully. Grudge Throwers ready to harass from long range. I don't want to set them up well over here. Set them up back this way. There we go. And get our melee miners. And battle begin. Go ahead and try to take as much position as possible here. Keep sending the slayers out wide. Rudge throwers, if you could advance to blasting away at. These wolf riders would be awesome. They are likely to flee, but do a little bit of damage. Stand back just a little bit. That way they're forced to come through this choke point. We can kind of blast them to bits as they do. Back up the hill a little ways. You're just here to stop anyone from flanking. Artillery. over just a bit more. We'll likely have to readjust again once they uh, start moving towards us. Move up kind of like this, where we're holding either, either choke point. And we can rotate pretty easily if we need to. Alright, rocks are flying. I don't think many of them are actually landing anywhere. Grudges going unavenged. And they're just going to fall back. We'll go for these goblins then, since they're a little bit closer. Smashing it into this idol of Gork. Let's try not to. Avoid the giant idol unless we can knock it down and roll this big old stone head down the hill. A couple goblins get exploded, but they do move up out of range. Just trying to deal enough damage that they decide to come towards us. Moving towards them at this point, it's going to be a uh, recipe for disaster. You guys go wide. Fall back a little bit more here. They're content with staying way back here and not coming in, huh? We've got our own idol on this side that's blocking us just a bit. And lob those shots, I believe in you. They're moving up, which means they did just fire. Wow. 
they're not they're not gonna let us hit him at all, are they? Let's bring the artillery round. So maybe they can get a better angle. I'm not moving towards these green skins though. And they know it. Maybe not giving them any attack orders at all is the way, because otherwise they'll they'll know exactly what's happening and dodge them. And not having any of our helicopters is a big old pain. Just bombard this area. No matter right, how much you have to move up to get there. I'm trying to get them to move towards us. Since that's not targeting anyone in particular, now they're going to dodge them all the same. So cheeky. Yeah, we will absolutely need cannons. This is showing that off 100%. They're able just to dodge it completely casually, which means we have to move in, otherwise they are not going to be moving towards us at all. Let's stop the war machines from firing just for a moment, and we will kind of reposition our army. That way they are all moving together up this flank here. We've got no choice. Rim near, I order thee. Yeah, I refuses to be kind to us. So we shall move on in with our armies. Let's stop you from firing because you're wasting a lot of your shots on goblins. Ooh, that was a good hit. They're just going to dodge you. I am the ranking lord. Bring the slayers back, that way they're not getting charged. I prefer anyone else get charged, initially. Thunderers up. Go ahead and give you guys the attack at will order. Hey, those gobos are a good choice. Great Axe Warriors go round. Looks like I see some uh, Orc Boys trying to do some nonsense. And it's shenanigans. Now they're being stopped by the hill here, aren't they? Let's pull these Thunderers. Slayers plus Lord should finish these clowns off quickly. Place them in shots. Slayers, come on in. You crash into this group. Great axes, you go with the Slayers. Yeah, keep weakening those normal uh, orc boys. Explode them where they stand. Same here. You need to move back. Beautiful. They're done. Start blasting into these goblins. They should have a pretty clear shot. Slayers are not enjoying their fight with those nasty skulkers. It's in the miners wide. Let the Great Axe boys get in there. Rifles start dealing with these archers. Stop this great shaman. Great shaman's doing his best dodging all of our, our shots here. He's got a lot of slayers. Fight! Go ahead and blast in the back of these orc boys for me. You surround the great shaman. Rifles deal with these gobos. 
Rifles are not actually dueling very well with the enemy archers. Don't have a lot of choice but to leave them into that duel though. I'm on armor. Old for us. Rocks keep smashing them to bits. They've got no more archers. Slayers are going down, though. We're about to lose our grudge, grudge settlers. Try to pull them back. Let the great axes hold the line. Boys here. I've barely ever seen organ guns used, so I don't know how they work. And they're kind of uh, very similar to your Thunderers, but in artillery form. They're short range. I'm gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, they're aggressively going after our Slayers, aren't they? Gotta respect them for that. They know what the most important target is. Try to blow up this blob here. It's in the Lord after the enemy Goblin Great Shaman, and I think we've got him here. Yeah, we might have lost the Slayers. They're down to 10 models, so it'll be a, uh, a miracle if we keep them. The settlement battles. So there's no real reason to continue the continue the fray. Well done, lads. But organ guns are very much like a thunderers, where they're a line of sight, and they just got a blast in a straight line, and they annihilate anything they touch. Good stuff. Slayers are the very definition of the only hit points that matter is the last ones, for better or worse. Absolutely, so hopefully, well, since they're not grayed out here, we should hopefully get to keep them. We'll see, though. Combining armor's sundering attacks with the uh, natural murderiness of those Slayers is uh, pretty fantastic. Right, close victory. Yep, the Slayers remain. Even with 10 models, we will take it. I'm going to go ahead and just sack Doc Karaz and fall back to Bargvar. Taking with us the spoils of war. My axe thirsts for war. One rug, onward. And then here for you, Baranoth. We can specialize you with rune-warded armor or even more missile block chance and some physical resistance. Slayers never die. Not even close. Mastercraft weapon, and then the era of or aura of endurance. Well, let's go for the aura of endurance since he's here holding the line like a champion. When now you can use a master rune of spite? That's bizarre, but we'll take it since you have so many enemies to deal with. How many of our buildings are going in so we can possibly recruit more troops this turn? Looks like next to none of them, so we're going to want to go for... Well, the, the diamond mine's about to be fixed up. There's trouble about. Could go for Mount Gunbat as well. Both gold generated engineers workshop for the brimstone gun and gyrocopters that we can't quite afford. So I'm thinking if anything, we'll grab the drinking hall to help out our control, as well as give us a little bit more trade resources for selling. Has he been clear? Oh, he's been get clearance to give him the roots. Well, before it didn't allow us to use all them at all. Let's hear what you have to say. So, we'll hear it I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe it was because we had just confederated him. We could also confederate Karak Azul. Yes? How many settlements do you guys have? We're not it going to time. yet, but four. They're not doing bad. 
Let's build up some positive relations before we go for that, though. He proved he was worthy of them. That makes sense. I'll, I'll take that as an explanation. Get here a Squighorn. Do we want to go for, since it's down here and fairly safe, do we need to go for a little bit more gold? Cross construction costs for all buildings in the local province. I think that's a pretty good call. And then more growth as well for Cross of Crack. Time for a reckoning. Ooh, gyrocopters are the, indeed the way. Just one unit is going to change things immensely for this army. Let's see if Spite allows it. Kevin, Kevinson, we're going to get rid of your miners because you have been not in combat pretty much the entire time. We'll just keep you with some dwarf warriors for if things get uh, froggy. Casting the runes. I do. What? Skip through your nonsense. Building upgrade available here at Karagadron. There's no telling where the rats are, so that'd be uh, probably gold thrown into the fire. absolutely deserves at least a master rune of spite. His spitefulness is probably the only thing that kept him alive. Acquire additional gold to make more armies, to take more cities, to make more gold, etc. Welcome, friends Does tend to be the loop. Asador wants a military alliance. We will take it for a single gold coin. mostly keyed on that for the extra defenders it'll give us in our uh, provincial capital that he chooses. Spite's coming into Karaza Karak. If he's able to scoot past us and just go after the weaker settlements, that's going to be a nightmare. Which looks to be what he's doing. Yes. So Kevin, you're actually going to go ahead and get the boot for now. Armed and ready. While we rearm here at the Pillars of Grungni. Ancient is 5 more attack and 15% more strength. Let's go for the Rune Lord of Grungni. Yes. I'll get on it. Recruit an additional Lord. The Coin of Friendship. Casador's Obel. Kevin, go grab some beers of the boys will be needed later. Ag agreed. Good. There will be... A reckoning when you come back. Let's see who's in Black Crag. Gonna give us a valiant defeat. You've got no artillery, though. So as long as we can take the walls, we are in incredibly good shape. Let's set up and start building in... I'd say a siege tower or two. It's gonna take two turns. Good grief. For Hopefully this is Clan Verms' only army, and if it's not, we're in a bit of trouble. Torgan, you can pull in some long beards right away. I think that's going to be a very good idea. And honestly, just helicopters. Warp fire throwers and warp grinders are not going to be fun, no. So the plan with them is just going to be not to engage. We'll let our boilers deal with them from range. And our gyrocopters as well, because they shouldn't be able to outrange our boys. For the wisdom of Valaya. Where'd that other army go? That's not suspicious at all. I mean, we're going to move in and hit Drock either way. Let's do so let us begin. in encamp stance so we don't get jumped. Beards in belts. And now we move in. We'll claim it this one without a resolve. Sack it. We're the greenskins now. Fiery Ring of Thori causes major magical and fire damage. Long, thin, expanding tier shape, so it's like your Nurgle Stream of Corruption. Awesome. Yes. My axe thirsts for war. Well, here he is. Rat Gadget hanging out in Break Hills. Would love to have a proper siege at Karazakarak, but we'll see. I'll cast the runes. No one else we can grab with you except for maybe the Ekron miners. We'll 
we'll grab the next turn if he decides to move in. Everything else we will just camp out with. Goblins are seething. They probably are. Those filthy stunties keep coming out in second don't carouse, they do. Summon me if you wants us to build up here in Crag Drong, but I'm just not Attack. not having it. And they're gonna move in on the Pillars of Grungni. I didn't build up that big of a force. So maybe we can hold it, maybe we can't. I think it definitely needs to be changed a little bit so that no armies can get past Karaza Karak, but that is not the way. This is gonna be tough. Maybe Belagar will like you more after all these battles. Hopefully. I mean, if anything, this is gonna be this is gonna be nigh impossible though. Miners just don't stack up very well against boys, and we only have the one group of longbeards. It's gonna be tough. We definitely need to pull up to the top of the hill here and let them come all up and around. Miners, let them be the initial. Well, actually, they have armor piercings. We really don't want them to be the initial line holders, do we? It's a reckoning. Vengeance. It's a reckoning. Try to hide these guys in the woods. Bring it on. We'll have you go up front. That way any of the spells that are getting blasted over are not hitting our normies. But we have nothing to deal with skirmish troops. Long years are going to have to pull quite a bit of weight here. Absolutely. I don't think there's going to be a victory without range. I think you'll just struggle to do much. Yeah, agreed. We'll see. You're also going to send their scouts forward to try to find any units we have in the woods because the AI knows they're there. They just have to pretend like they don't. Well, we can at least use him to force these wolf riders back. Because he has so much armor that their shots are going to be really, really struggling to do much. Yeah, they're just trying to scout out our longbeards. Agreed. I'll let them try to waste a lot of their ammo with these skirmish guys here. Try to go with the extra speed rune. Just in time, maybe? Come on. Speed and melee attack. There it is, and they're stuck in the woods. Those wolf chariots are gone. May the grudges be with you. Thank you, Traino. We'll see. And if not, this can go in the book. Break their ankles once more. Keep chopping them to bits. I'll have the... Longbeards come back into the woods, and then those miners can fall back behind our line here. Health loss is very minimal, so we're just fine. Almost used all their arrows on the Wolf Riders, which means they are about useless. They're sending their other archers in. Really. What a bold strategy. Or try to break their morale. I think we'll definitely try to do. We won't overextend, and we'll just deal with the units as they come in one at a time here or as many as they choose to send in. The overconfidence of this uh, war boss seems to be playing a pretty huge part here. 
They go for it. His armor is just blinking your arrows off like they don't even exist. We'll save the armor rune for when we really need some extra tankiness. Now, even with a lot of these arrows actually hit again. You're pretty close to full health. Your job now is to come over here and disrupt these goblin archers before they find our friends. They only sent one of the archers forward, which is bizarre. Now their target will send the longbeards in as well. I think they're actually quite fast, these longbeards. I was lying, they are not fast at all. The enemy archers are going to try to run. Here come the Wolf Raiders. Let you chop them up. We'll have to work as a team here to deal with these Wolf Raiders. Alright, the force is to be a little bit more extended than I wanted to be. Deal with the Raiders quick and then we'll fall back. He's not really meant to be fighting against a big boss. Fall back. Leave the miners here. The longbeards need to fall back. Crash into these wolf boys. Longbeards pull away from combat. If these wolf chariots and you can duel with uh, the big boss. See a couple blows, then fall back. Go oh, and full tilt. Miners, go ahead and surround this big boss, and we'll bring our lord away, let them get a couple hits, and then charge back in from there. We can't take the bait of hitting these goblin archers, no matter how much we are losing troops to uh, their arrows. Couple more good hits on the big boss. Longbeard, you fall back once more. Go ahead and bring you back as well. There are just so many of them. Longbeards, come on out. Away from the trees there. Now it's time to send in the boys. Almost. Miners, you move in. Give them that extra armor. Send the miners on the flank here. You guys come up, chuck those explosives at the orc boys. Longbeards, I want them to be not in combat with uh, orc boys. We may not have a lot of choice. Well done. Let's get one more set of explosives further in so we're not wasting those shots. Miners come through to help out these long beards. Alright, now battle is here. We either win or we don't. It is so incredibly dark. I can have a rune lord press through and hit the enemy. Lord, that'd be great. I just don't think we have a chance. Fire for more attack. We're gonna give this to as many units as we can. These three are the most important. He's bullying a big boss. And the wall is popped for them. They basically realize they've got more melee than we do, so it's time to send them all in. Play those Wolf Raiders quickly. We need the armor rune. 
Uh, their wall is done, though, for the time being. We don't have the speed to pull out and back into combat, so we're just in. Oh, they get another one that fast, huh? Well, that's no good. 43 seconds before we have more armor, so let's charge back in and hit this group of horde boys. Thirty-three seconds. We get these blasting charges fully encompassing there and hit them. Their archers should not be able to hit any of our guys just because the orcs are taller and uphill, but looks like they've got better accuracy than it looks. Dead. 1600 to 500 about the armor we need desperately on our front line. Getting lots of good shots of those archers. Come on now. The death of those miners is going to be bad for us. Those goblins are gone. Keep chopping through. Archer is gone. Hit these orc boys. Come on, leadership. Just break. You know you want to. Why can't we use the rune of speed again? Roll the roll the line. We'll have the miners go through. Hit these archers. Come on. Why is it re- Oh, it's probably the uh, the enemy caster here. He's got to be able to reset our own cooldowns, which is unfortunate. Keep chopping through these boys. A more attack here in this big blob. I think we've got him. Can't overextend. Chop down the archers and move on from there. Another wall, that's the third. Getting our lord to chase the enemies would be not worth our time, simply because they'll just uh, turn and run. And those multiple walls are no fun. Come on, Longbeards. They are starting to really run out of uh, steam. Oh, I don't think we have it. Just barely, too. Now, this is really bad. They're just going to have higher overall leadership than we do. And that's that. Unfortunate. The triple WA definitely was uh, in their favor for sure. Let's see if they can't try to get as much damage on this uh, big boss as possible, but that is a loss inside of our territory, which is as bad as it comes. Get yourself a little bit more armor there. They can kill the big boss. Ah, not quite. They're trying, though. Hey, it's not over till it's over, but I'm thinking we are running a low on steam. Our, our long beards are about... about exhausted. And there they go. Surround the orcs. More damage here for these guys. Yeah, they almost got him. You're losing ground, you don't say. Hit the orcs if you can. Hold 
Only we could have got our long beards back, and these archers know that's why they're chasing him. Man, this leadership, they killed quite a few. Yeah, but it's a valiant defeat. This far into our territory is uh, pretty unfortunate. Indeed, so close. Now we just have to reorient our strategy a bit. I incorrectly assumed we wouldn't be able, or they wouldn't be able to get past Karaza Karak, and that definitely was to our detriment here. Yeah, we'll have to see if that's actually intended. I didn't think you were able to walk past Karaza Karak. That's one of the things that stopped me as Warzag uh, when we were playing in that campaign. Uh, but if it's a, if it's intended, then so be it. We lose. And I'll have to keep it in mind for our future campaigns. Welcome, friends oh, they're going to be the nice and disrespectful and just raid our lands. Keep building up those grudges, fool. Military access. How much gold do you have for it? Ooh, a fair bit. Give me the money. We need it. We shall work together. This grudge shall not go unpunished indeed. Time to get ourselves a new army here in Squighorn instead of Grungni, because we'll just consider this one lost. Oh, a Chaos Dwarf Convoy. Welcome. And I do still want a Rude Lord for their ability to explode the enemies, so let's go for... Blood of Valea for Ward Save. Shared cooldown for all magic seems pretty good, though. Yes. Rungi Grunson. Is it just helicopters for you too there, Grungni? I think so. We can use that to explode the big groups of uh, unfortunate greenskins. We definitely need crossbows too, so that'll be what we get as soon as we're able the next turn. Alright. Light 10 scratch. We have built up some siege towers, and so you need to fall. We definitely don't want to fight them out on the open field because of how many clan rats they can summon on in. We will hold up in one of the spots where they've got weaker towers and then kind of just slowly and surely deal with the clan rat summons as they happen. Not going to be a fun battle by any means. You are of Ruin. Yoy. Ruin spells are horribly effective. Let's get to it. Oh, the Border Christians are pushing back on Scrag, which is good to see. We had to sacrifice a good deal of Dawi to make that happen. Are grudge throwers viable against walls? We'll find out. I know that they didn't used to be. But we'll definitely try. If we can knock down a wall or two, they're not as great against the towers as they used to be because they kind of buffed up all of the health that your uh, siege equipment has or your siege fortifications. We can try to use them to punch a hole in the wall over here, where there's only one tower that's actually looking at us. And these are the shrapnel variants, so they actually may not be great against walls at all. Deals 100% damage against buildings. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Dolly with the towers, which the siege towers for the dwarves look amazing. Just a big, angry, stern fella coming across the field at you. You know what you did wrong. He's not angry, just disappointed. It's the most dad look I've ever seen in a, in a siege tower. So up here. We want the dwarf warriors still up front. Crossbow teams. Bunch up is dangerous against the Skaven, but because they have those menace below summons, we kind of have to. We'll keep them back, so we're marching in after we've dealt with a lot of the wall defenses. Another slow and steady victory here. Let the 
Leave the miners here to defend against any kind of Skaven incursion. You can stay here to help them replenish their ammo. The helicopter squad, which, look at this. The changes to the gyrocopters. You get a proper air force now. They've become more scary pterodons. With less overall melee stats, though. You have to keep in mind that their ruin and mage can stop them in their tracks, so. Still want to be clever with our boys. Hammers on the side. Infantry, miners, warlers, and rudge throwers in our helicopters. All right. The helicopter bombs are not viable against the walls. Don't even try. We might get a bit of friendly fire with these breaching charges, but I would say it's worth it, just in case any kind of Skaven show up. And onward. Let's see how much damage we get against the walls. Well, if we miss this fort tower, we can hit the walls behind it, which would work. Well, in terms of viable, if that's 100% damage, no, it's not viable. Not even a little bit. Let's go ahead and have our chopper gunners move up this flank. Thorgrim is tanking that all like a champion. We're moving in the proper warriors as well. Take, like, this position on the wall. Rush throwers move forward, so that way you shouldn't get hit too much there. You can even just flashbang these clan rats as they come on in. Get away from these... walls. Gyro bombers that you truly have a target-rich environment. Absolutely. Just have to make sure that we're not losing our uh, artillery teams. I'm guild approved. Well, the copters come up and over the top. They can start harassing the enemy uh, spellcaster. Same thing with the bombers. Not so far. 42 pounders through this group. Comes the next summon. Just explode them. Please keep moving forward, though. The formation's a little bit messed up. That's all right. Pretty easily dealt with that group. I think they got hit by a, a grudge thrower, and they just ran. Fall back a little bit here. We'll have our bombing run start moving in. Steam guns, let's focus these night runners. Bomb this group. I'm going to come back over and bomb the night runners as well. Steam guns deal with the Grey Seer of Ruin. Let's keep harassing these missile troops here. There we go. What a terrifying battle here. Oh, where are my other dwarf warriors that are not up? Fighting against clan rats. You guys got that, don't you? Let's get these crossbows just kind of moved up. They could be a nice menace. Warp lightning, dashing our guys on the walls. All right, time to fall back. Night runners being an issue here. Orgrim, move on in. How many summons of clan rats we have to deal with back here? 
The answer is tons. We are the next summon. Hammerers, you come on back and help out with that. All the guys on the walls got wiped out. Bombers come up over the top here. Pretty good target for us. Thorgrim, come on back. We need to capture this zone. Those gyrocopters got messed up. Get that munition here. Let's bring the axes in. Come back through here, bombers. There is just so much going on. Let's set them up over here that we can just kind of fire up and over the top. Same thing with these uh, gyrocopters. They've done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the uh, front line. Warp Lightning is goofy, yeah. Especially against the door. It just rips into shreds. All right. Warlers, what are you guys up to? Moving in and getting butchered. Definitely looks like it. Rollers fall back a bit. You guys too. Alright, Grudge Throwers, you're getting too many friendly fire kills here. We need to bring the Dryocopters through to blast at the enemy mage, otherwise we are going to continue to lose tons of troops. Or Grim's a champion though, isn't he? Take some zones. Stop them from moving. Which I think is fine. Focus fire in the. I mean, Lord here. If you can push through, that'd be awesome. All the steam guns focus. Up here we can see about blowing up this group of spearmen. Not as much damage as on the gyro bombers, of course. Fall back just a bit. We'll send the bombers up at the top to do some damage now. Artillery teams try to blast away at these night runners. Oh, they got stopped cold. Fair enough. You're reorganized here. How many warriors have we got left? Just send them on in. Spellcaster is gone. They're being given targets. You guys come on in and let's avoid the night runners when and where we can. Fort fire throwers are moving up. Let's avoid that. Once we take the walls, that's where our quarrelers are going. Speaking of, you take this position on the wall. All back away from those warp fire throwers. That is not a fun time for anyone. Get away from them. Have our helicopters come up and over the top. Lightning shredding our dwabby on the walls. So glad you're back. Focus fire with those steam guns. Go ahead and get a flashbang in here on this group fighting our main forces. Want to move the quarrelers up to the top, but I think we're just going to get them killed by clan rats if we do. We've claimed the walls, we've claimed the walls. Enemy Lord, you guys fall back for issues with warp fire throwers. One final shot on him. Who's this unit up here? Our dwarf warriors. Uh, you guys just come on outside the walls. Oh, they're going through the front gate instead of up the towers. They're torching our walls with warp fire throwers. Stop them, please. Enemy Lord's gone. 
This was always going to be a bad fight. There we go. Up on the walls properly. Goofy quarrelers. We stay put. We stay put. We stay put. Yes, you do. You stay put. No, you moved in too close to those warp fire throwers. I thought they could shoot them from, from back a little ways. They, they absorbed that shot pretty well, though. All things considered. Axes get this group. Pretty much you just find anyone and shoot them. Flamethrower action there for their guys. Let's go ahead and give this unit of uh, clan rats some bombs. Come on, get the warp fire throwers. Beautiful stuff. Let's go flashbang here. Hammers in, miners in. This is a horrifying battle. See that you need a rune guy in this battle, absolutely. This army is 100% needing of some magic of some kind. Runic magic works as well as any other. Fall back a bit. No reason to move up into these warp grinders. Uh, area of effect. Let's let the High King hold the line himself. Warlers, go ahead and move on in. Let's stop these Night Runners. We'll weaken their. We got the wrong group of the melee defense weaken. Now still four more bombs. Let's move in and use them now that we've kind of dealt with a lot of the uh, the big bads. They're just trying to run now. They know what we've got. Up through. You guys follow these Skaven slaves. Bombs away. I'll back through. Explode all the Skaven. We'll have the miners deal with the night runners. You go ahead and snipe this or unfortunate chieftain. You guys are a little bit too close. We're gonna lose lots of them to throwing stars. Run, gyrocopters. Pull them back. We need all of our crossbows to fire on it. Night Runners. Win and where possible. Slow those Night Runners as well. Get some more shots where you can. And we use some uh, gyro bombs. Oh, these guys are out. You guys fire here. Well, where's my gyrocopters? Come on back. You guys go capture this point. Grudge thrower, what are you doing so far up? Let's call it, come up bomb this group here. Go! Strike out! Go! Perfect. Go and smash the rest of these night runners, and we've got it. Any choppers that are out of ammo, they'll go ahead and come out beyond, so we're not getting shot at by all these towers. And that's that. White Siege. Oh, we managed to bring him down. Now we can turn and deal with the green skin threat. Do indeed have enough front line, so getting some more. Uh, we definitely need a rune smith. Not a fun battle at all. I think it was fun.
It was uh, quite hectic, though. Man, we had to use our... Uh, that was a gyrocopter, crackhead city. We had to move around at top speed. Ruin spells are just always going to kick the mess out of you as the Dobby or any faction that is really clumped up. That's Clan Verm's largest army and capital. Leg sweep out from under them. Now we're just gonna occupy. A new provincial capital, we can absolutely hold the line. Harak Draz mining settlement. So it transfers into a, an actual normal settlement then. That's great. So Crack Draz, the great hold, gives us the fused beer kegs as a tower projectile. So are you saying we're going to get some uh, beer keg artillery at some point? I'm here for that. Skaven will still view those as acceptable losses. Absolutely, they will. Although they did lose Black Crag, so we'll see. Let's get rid of this building and go for anything that makes us money. So gold mining pit. And since the Skaven have been defeated here in Krakadrong, we'll go ahead and grab the Ember Mine as well. Rugni, I'm going to go ahead and give you the Ekron Miners to hopefully help keep spack, uh, Spike Backbiter away. He can't get through the Pillars of Grungni, so he has to at least claim this before going after him. Would be surprised if this is when uh, Skaven decided to attack as well. When it rains, it does indeed pour. For the wisdom of the Oath of Forging. We're not really gaining any Oath Gold from anywhere in there, from anything in this area anyway, so let's go ahead and go ahead and grab... Is Axelor to keep our miners and dwarves fighting. Can't really afford anything else. High King, we can grab Ancient Bloodline. Extra control, growth, and corruption in all of our provinces. More helicopters to help the blood hold the Blood River Valley. I'm thinking that is indeed the way. And then we've been neglecting our forge. We've got a lot of oath gold. How about some runes? Reducing speed and melee defense. That's pretty incredible, their rune of impact. I was looking at for one of these master runes, though. Master rune of Skulf Blackhammer. Ulrich the Mad, I would love to just get another master rune of Spite. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we can't. It's 500 oath gold is what we need. I don't mind saving them. Something a little bit better. Retake the realm. Um, we'll give the second use for the Zufbar 42 pounders. That way we've got two of them. Just give us something else to disrupt the enemy formations or force them to come after us when they don't really want to. How are the Great Book of Grudges going? Can we confederate anyone yet? We're up to 6,000 grudges settled. Ooh, Ungrum is doing fantastic. He and his slayers are out there selling grudges left and right. You can also see exactly what level they are, which is cool. Ungrum up to 15, Thoric 13, Belagar doing all right, and then Grom Rendell still alive, which is impressive in and of itself. Actually, he's got four settlements. Grom Rendell's doing great. None of our other legendary grudges are progressing, except for the Clan Moors one. Aye. Aye. Alright, well I'm going to jump up for another quick restroom break and we will keep going until 4pm here at Central Time, so another whole hour. We've got another caravan arrived. And I think finally the quest for Gotrek and Felix. Nope, armor of Skaldor. So we need to win the following battle with Thorgrim. Going down against a whole heap of trolls. And that will give us his uh, unique armor. 
Pretty solid too. Pretty solid indeed. All right, we'll have to jump up and be right back. No more than uh, five minutes. And we are back. See, the Trino has to leave, but may your battles be great and glorious. Thanks so much. I appreciate you stopping by for the stream. Hope you had a good time. I certainly have. Even if we've been uh, up against the wall against the Greenskins for the most part here. Looks like Scrag's back and ready to fight. So does that mean we come on down to Doc Karaz and sack it again just because? I think so. I have to build up some more experience. You poor fools. And I will apologize, I'm starting to, uh, the voice is starting to go. I haven't streamed for this long in quite some time, so I'll have to build up the build tolerance again. I don't know what else you would call it. Uh, Doc Raz, we are not going to worry about rebuilding forces at all, but I kind of want more, kind of want more helicopters. These guys have been MVPs. For now, we'll leave his force as is. I see you wait quest for Gotrek and Felix. Indeed, they have not changed it where once you get a well, your lord up to a certain rank, you will then be issued a mission for uh, the recruitment of Gotrek and Felix. He's just recruiting more troops. That's all the great. So let's give you... We've already got Ekran miners. Let's probably just go for some quarrelers. We can blast away at them. how much gold we're making there at Mount Squighorn. If anything, I really want to spend money on Mount Gunbad. Yes, but will they be permanent or go away after a while, as usual? Oh, no, yeah, that's also part of the change. I, I get distracted left and right here. Uh, once you do claim them through the quest battle, they are then yours permanently 
as part of your faction. Right now there is a known bug where Gotrek is not spawning sometimes, so we may have to deal with that, but... Hopefully not. That's all I can really say there. Hopefully not. Land Verms is almost gone. So I'm going to try to trust in our Rune Lord. I am going to teleport. And Black Rag could not defend itself. I'm going to go in the Underway stance. Where can you go, Liv? Finally. I agree. It was always needed that we, there could have been something you could do to permanently get Gotrek and Felix in your armies, but... He's up on top of this bluff here. They're basically making it so I can choose to go after Liv or take down Iron Rock, but I can't do both. The runes are cast. What? What? I agree. What if we go to an ambush stance? You are then. Try to catch the rat sneaking through, and then we can hopefully. It looks like it takes. There's no way they can come by, right? Looks like we blocked the entire pass. Excellent. It's not excellent as Spite here. Looks like Ermataz has built up some grudges. He's trespassing. They're allowed to come through here. They're a caravan. Alright, so no repairs. Maybe recruiting here for Baranoth. We can get an additional gyrocopter. At the Krezakarak Air Force is unleashed. It's been a little bit since we've checked diplomacy. Let's get some trade agreements yes. going. What brings you before the air of Let's Lund. take all of the gold right. from the King of Lund. City Northern provinces. Great Don't acceptable. worry. Belagar will handle Kara uh, Eight Peaks for you. Hi. We could confederate with Karakazul. Then we are at war with Moors and Rictus sooner rather than later. I think we'll have to let Karakazul fall. Which is very sad. I don't want to take on a fall and hold. We already did that once with Barak Var, and look where that got us. It is time. He's getting addicted to the choppers. Oh yes. The thwapa thwapa shall save the day. And they could absorb. We saw how well they absorbed the uh, the fire from those warp fire throwers. That was incredibly impressive. Karazik Karak has been besieged. Spite and Ratgash are working together. Should we just be able to take him down with an auto resolve? You poor fools. That's what I was waiting for. We will take the drink to victory. The lads deserve it, and that'll also build up our experience for them, which doesn't matter all that much. We'll gain more income and have more control for uh, two turns. Well said for five turns. Sour and Ratgash were annihilated. And the Bugman Grudge win three battles against Greenskins. I'm concerned that it's taken us this... We fought Greenskins many battles, haven't we? He held in Grimnir's seething sight. Bugman's brewery was once the greatest of all brew houses, where the fabled Bugman's XXXXX was created, and a few casks of which still exist. Did Bugman's Quintuple X? But it all ended when the Groby fell upon the fortified brewery, enslaving and killing the Bugman clan. And worst of all, drinking the ale. Such an atrocity is the grudge that can never truly be settled. Go and slay the Greenskins to open this wound. Or solve this open wound. One of the oldest entries in the Dwarfhold's Book of Grudges have been struck out. A great feast is held to celebrate. Awesome. So now we're up to the Age of Reckoning. Null and Grom. It's a wonder you don't trip on your way into battle with such a glorious beard. The Dawi celebrate both your achievements and your beard with every breath. I do trip every morning on my beard. It's a it's a thing. It's not from being glorious, though. Guild Marketplace. Engineer's Workshop. Alright, alright. We can also go ahead and start repairing what those Groby destroyed. I want to upgrade Gunbad for the ability to get stronger mines. That worked out. But we're 
where did you manage to disappear to? Infecte Yulsef. I'm pretty sure at this point, Crag drawing or er, Black Crag can defend itself from a normal Skaven army. So we move on Iron Rock. There's likely a Skaven force. An ambush nearby, so we'll just move, move up like this so we can replenish as much as we can. And there's no telling where that army disappeared off to. That's it, troll bearers. Keep me upright. That's right, troll bearers. Fair enough, time to defend Bragvar once more. Although Scrag is going to be pretty big disadvantage this time. We didn't have helicopters. Oh, speaking of, how about one more? Four helicopters. Yes. We love the sound of steam guns in the morning. Onward. Karakutren finally wants to be buddies. Come. Fetch the brewmaster. We drink. All right. Indeed we do. Although well, today it's been Sickness mostly coffee. So we're at like a jitter level. Cl closing in on 9,000. Good peace out with Scrag, which I'm tempted to go for. Let's peace out with him after he loses this army. Rub salt on that wound. Black Crag is as upgraded as we can make it. Now, Squighorn, we could upgrade our gold buildings. Yeah, let's do it. We need more monies. Irish coffee, perhaps. Not this time. And not most times. Good old Death Wish coffee. With more caffeine than normal. Stuff's insane. Or more dwarfish palette. It'd be like a blend of like proper meat or ale and coffee, and I'm sure that would be horrifying. Another convoy. This one from the Chaos Dwarves? Okay, sure. We welcome all, including the Fallen Brethren. Miranoth is under siege by Scrag. Can we just defeat him real quick with a... Scrag? You're going to make me do this again, huh? All right, time to teach you another lesson. I bet he is proper horrifying, isn't he? He's got so many things hooked into his face that his, his lips have been pulled back. Unless that's just he's had so much to eat and he has no longer need of his lips. You cut him off so we can shove more food in there. This crack is a proper nightmare. Oh, hey, Wurzag. Glad to see you and your Morky Mischief. Hello, Stunties of Views. Brought some shinies for Wurzag. Uh, not this time, Wurzag. Oh, we're... Oh, we just sallied out to fight them, didn't we? Hmm. See, I wasn't expecting this. Not what I meant to do at all. All right, well, we're going to send in the, uh... Send in the heli... The Air Force. Let's go. Rudge Thrower is back here behind the water. We've got a green skin on here. Yeah, the Great Book of Grudges needs to be settled. Love the miners up in front of the water here to try to lure in our ogre rivals. We'll try to use mostly the uh, settlement garrison. That way we're not wounding to meet our own lads. Like so. I'm going to have the Thunderers hiding in the woods. We'll do our best. And then Jamek Ironbeard. Have you standing off to the side here to make sure no one makes it through those woods. Our proper lord up front here. And we've got all of our warriors that I'm going to kind of keep behind. You guys will be the reserve legions. That was me, Chapter. We actually haven't met you yet, Wurzag, so... We'll have to see just how much grudges that your faction has built on up for us. I'm sure it's going to be more than zero. But we have not actually done battle with the Bloody Hands yet. Hide some great weapons in the woods here. 
more great weapons over here, and then just proper Dobby Warriors in the, the water. Because the problem is we are going to be the ones taking the disadvantage from the water, but we'll make do. Let's start shooting. Let's start shooting. Single entities, all of our warriors. Miners as a group. Riflemen and quarrelers and grudge throwers. And then our gyrocopters. And these slayers over probably in the woods as well, just in case anyone tries to come after our rifles. They'll have the worst surprise. Probably not nearly as bad as the goblins here. Yeah, these goblins have been bullying us. In the Air Force goes. Ooh, or not. Oh, these two guys need to be deployed? That's a thing. Come on back here, you. Go ahead and have them just set up back here. Meanwhile, these guys come on in. There's not much they can do against our Air Force. We'll have them just kind of harass uh, Scrag. They do have this unit of Noblar Trappers. We'll bring in the bombers. Business. Not the best bombing run. Let's see if we can't come back and hit him again. Doing a bit like that. That's much better. Now we'll surround and destroy more Scrag here. Looks like there's a little bit of friendly fire going. Rifles come on out and away. Here they come. Steam guns come up and around. This is fantastic. They're not getting a ton of damage, but they are bullying poor Scrag. Let's go after the less armored ogres there. Rifles start firing. We're going to have these miners switch sides as soon as they expend their explosives, because that is a ton of ogre bodies. And lock these guys in to give them a little bit more range. Come away from these Noblar Trappers. Keep harassing these bulls. Send the warriors in. Looks like they're going to try to surround that group. I guess they didn't decide to use their satchel charges. Please focus Scrag, and then we'll go for the other guys after that. These poor Noblars. They think they're effective. Move in and bomb them. Something good. Show them the true meaning of war. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Let's move in with the other bombers then. How was the flanks gone? Slayers pretty much held the woods like champions. Knew we didn't have to worry about them. This was glorious. Where my bombers actually have bombs left over. Steam guns are very effective. I think we are going to see them broken. They sent some guys around wide. No one's scared of you. Looks like these slayers are a little bit out and in the open, but... They're just chasing the ogres across the field. This went quite well. At this point, I think Warzad got the Bigfoot spell, so he's going to be hitting hard. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. Big feet everywhere. Nope, no one out of no one out of line. We'll bring the bombs up just in case someone tries anything. We'll bring these gyrocopters over to help out the guys in the woods. Turn and fire. You turn and fire on this group. Same thing with the crossbows here. Just get whoever you can. Give him a hug. Drop a dwarfy hug. Several dwarves definitely meet the uh, Slayer Oath there and completely... Oh, that was a bad charge for us. Oof. Don't charge into a, a squad of ogres, even with slayers. They don't like it. Alright, you guys pull up out of here. I figured you guys could deal with just some simple Noblar Trappers. I was wrong. 
for the steam guns to actually be working on the enemy here. It's quite hilarious. Imagine big ogres running away from these little angry tiny men. Yeah, those, listen, never underestimate some angry tiny men with a death wish. They're just chasing ogres off left and right here. We'll have them go after these Noblars, but that's a victory. Scrag learned the hard way. Now that we've got the Air Force, these ogres are doomed. These bombs, let's get them over here and try to bomb these trappers. At least versus ogres. Yeah, ogres are huge targets, so uh, all of the steam guns and just the steam guns in general are going to be amazing against them. Same thing I'm betting with Nurgle. We will have to deal with the flies, but as long as we can keep them ordered, our air force is going to be very effective. Go after these bulls. Speed that up, just get as many as we can. More grudges settled. Up and around. Follow this group out of here. How amazing. Hunting big, hungry buffalo. From helicopters. Scrag is making the mistake of tunneling to you and ignoring the border princes harassing him. Yeah, he is. Border Prince will be slowly taking his territory. Foolish player bias. Should be closing in on also the free LC quest for the Nemesis Crown, as we're seeing here. It also triggers, I think, at a certain rank for one of your lords, where you guess, basically get a uh, a hint as to where the Nemesis Crown is. And you have to move one of your, I don't know if it's lord or hero, but it's probably one or the other. You just have to move them to where that hint tells you to go, and then you start the quest from there. It's kind of difficult to see. We will take the extra income and control for this province drink to victory all right so we still have some troops left over we are recruiting Let up some helicopters begin. so we can come on out and deal with them like this My axe for war. make our miners and a dwarf warriors a little bit more angry i mean he's been holding the line just fine he's only taking a little bit of damage yeah we'll go ahead and grab axe lord As soon as we've got that sorted, we can start working on the blue line once more. We are up to 500 both gold, which means we can get ourselves that master rune of spite. Get another one of these and apply it to our Papa Thorgrim. Ready. With the master runes, you're only allowed to have one of each, so you can't stack those up something crazy, sadly enough. Fiery Ring of Thori. It only takes some more ward save for Thorgrim, whom we've basically just been able to waddle into the middle of all the enemies. Just leave him there. Incredibly tanky he is. That's a scavenging amount of ward save you have there, Thorgrim. Are we sure you're uh, the High King? Now we move in on Iron Rock. Skaven are hiding in here. We will go ahead and auto resolve this one. We just have to lose the one unit of warriors. I think that's just fine. We will occupy. I don't want to deal with clan verms anymore. Wipe them out. Having Skaven to deal with while clan Moors is on our south is a bad idea. That 
Pass has been secured in clan firms and now bites the dust. Retake the realms. So here we've got the deep magma cavern. So deep below Iron Rock lie its vast magma chambers formed by great earthquakes in ages past. A hundred chests of obsidian. Yes, please. What is the iron mining pit going to do for us? 200 gold, 45 ingots, and then up to production for dwarf warriors, longbeards, slayers, doom seekers, and miners. Pretty much anyone who's wielding a melee weapon. Advanced forging, fire support, or at least er, elite enforcer. Let's go for High King. Since we're about to get the Age of Reckoning, this will make that army a three larger. Hopefully we don't have to pay for them. Send me to vengeance. I mean, that might be a little bit of a nightmare. Get more mobility, and then we'll start working on his Deadeye trait, make him a sniper. I enjoy making our engineers. You can either make them a sniper or a lad with a, a little bit more armor and a chunky grenade launcher. I tend to make them a sniper. We're dealing with the enemy lords like a champion. Are these ogres really want to deal with our, our slayers and our miners. So since the camp reinforcements are coming on in afterwards, we'll just send in the steam guns to eliminate the ogre bulls and let the Noblar trappers waddle into our axes. Should work out quite well. Let's get them. I just met, I saw the physics are not on the side of the slayers, unfortunately. Yeah, being being knee high to an ogre means that just one one wrong move and you were being turned into uh, an explosion, which is, I guess, at least very festive. So they're gonna hey, hide in the corner. Beautiful. Well then, miners here, miners up front, rifles back in the back. There are a lot of enemies coming over here, though. Dwarf warriors. Dwarf warriors. Kind of have everyone readjust depending on who's coming across the field. Slayers are down to 30 models, but they're still going to be incredibly useful. Board up front. And then our gyrocopters. Pretty much my new favorite dwarf unit. Who would have thought? They went from four gyrocopters to twelve. I mean, just just look at this. This is so much more oppressive. I love it. All right, get our infantry, miners, ranged minus our helicopters. That guard mode then. Get the battle going. Anything I just want to bring these slayers around. The squad kind of the same, just in case they do decide to go through the woods over there. We can move this army easily, or this group easily up. And back in to uh, reinforce. Sit in the gyrocopters. Yeah, a bit hard to snack on a gyrocopter when it's up in the sky. I have come to ex I really appreciate air superiority. Even the likes of some Furies can completely change how uh, your battle goes just because of the way they are able to completely ignore enemy lines. You can pick those battles exactly as you want them. Wait for someone to be have a flank and then smash it. Go after their lord, whatever the captain unit is. If they have any of those trappers up front, try to bomb them. But they're likely all hiding in the woods. Ooh, wrong. They're up front. Let's focus fire. Hot steam is hot steam. Boy, it just explodes the whole noblar. That's that's pretty intense. Yeah, we just scared them off with the good old steam guns. We'll bomb this group. They're in a huge clump. And bombs away. The trappers seem to have a really hard time actually doing any damage to steam guns. 
They're gonna hide in the woods though to try to block some of our bullets, so we're gonna fall on back a bit. We'll just keep bombing this group here. They should flee right off the side. There's some iron bulls. Maybe not iron bull, but some ogre bulls with iron fists. Iron Bull has joined the chat. We can't eat him, Stundies of Days flying. I don't know why they're green skins, but they are. They have very similar speech patterns. Let's keep harassing them with our air force. This is hilariously awful for our enemies here. Let's blast these dual weapon ogres. They've got no armor. Looks like a proper group to bomb over here. Send in the boys. Cross like this, and then we'll hit them with the bombs. Amazing. Not reason to waste it on the normal Noblars. Let's see if we can bomb a few more trappers. Get this big group of Noblars first with the bombs. Oh, they dodged me a bit there. Get back. And now we just sit up behind them. There's a tyrant. Give him a hug. Dobby army needs to be remembered as great heroes, holding the line against seemingly unending tide of ogres, still punching them back. At least the Barak of our forces, for sure. He's actually able to absorb some of that steam cannon shot pretty well. Let's go for these dual weapon bulls instead, then. Just harass them out of existence. They're going to choose to come through the woods, which makes sense. Let's readjust our guys accordingly. Have our lord advance just a little bit so he's actually able to stop guys from making it to our thunderers. If he actually managed to. Hot blast of steam right to the mouth. That is a bad day to be an ogre. Those trappers are gone. Select the next unit. Just delete them. And actually, with this many gyrocopters, I, you're probably a pretty good threat against the Zinchian Changebringers, which are aggressively strong. So many steam guns going, they should be able to rip through that barrier pretty quickly. Alright, time to send the steam flyers in, because we've got too many ogres making it to our lines. Stand here, bring the axes in. Blast the dual weapon ogres first. They are the weakest to you. A lot of, uh, a lot of saber tusks. Four of eight heroes, and then the fiery ring of Thori. Let's try it. Very similar to the. Oh, it ripped right through our own warriors. It was a bit horrifying to see. Fire on the saber tusks. Fire on this lord. We're gonna charge, but Thunderers actually have a pretty good melee defense, so they'll hold the line pretty well. Rip them to pieces. Bring them all. Um, and bring the uh, Slayers back. We've got the victory, it's just the Iron still fighting. This is glorious. Slight delay on that. What do you mean, slight delay? I definitely have a slight delay in my, my own brain. I think many of these guys are going to escape. We'll try to hunt down as many of them as we can for that extra oath gold. Uh, 
That bullying bard var you were for a time. Group here. But what do you all think so far from what we've seen of the uh, rework for the Dawi? Do you like what you see or do you, would you like to see more? Not the rework that you were actually looking for or what do you think? I'm really enjoying the grudge system. It doesn't necessarily force you to be super aggressive because you can still be defensive. They aggress on you and you build up those grudges. So it's not quite as simple of a system as I might have thought at first look. Grudges not being annoying is, is great. Well, since we haven't had any of the bad ages, we haven't had to deal with any negatives from the grudges, which, which is indeed great. Those grudges are more building up and... I guess... Convincing your Dobby to fight fa stronger is the... Or for more ferociously, I guess, is the... What I'm looking for there. Instead of just being but a stagnant uh, debuff. I'm here for it. Got Rug wiped out. Let's see if there's any more wins ahead of us. We'll take the replenishment. So we can almost strike out on Akendorf now. Rug has retreated back to M Matorka. And we can have, we can pretty much just have Thorgrim moved in on a Baragda Wazbag. We'll have you switch over into Encamp. Will be settled. And we'll move in to try to claim Akendorf. Barth Bar going up to a Dwarven Keep is quite expensive. So let's upgrade back home first. We'll go Guild Marketplace at Karaza Karak. And then upgrade at the World's Edge Archway so we can put in the walls there. The Stunty Gits versus the Fatties. There's a little icon that's just in my way. Master of Runecraft. All right, so Rumni, you are perfectly capable at this point of moving and defending the World's Edge Archway. I guess before we send you out, let's go... One more Quarreler unit. We'll get one turn till the Age of Reckoning, so we'll have to see if we pay for our uh, Grudge Settler army. Skills for Baranoff. 15% less Vigor loss reduction for our whole army. Sounds fantastic. Give the boys extra bottles of Gatorade. Ready. And we'll have more Grudge Settler units as well to work with. Here at Death Pass, we will go for... I think just Growth. Growth is great. I am the high king. Oh, Scrag, do you want peace now? How pathetic. No more carving, no more chopping. No more bone crack. The all three of those things are new entries into the Book of Grudges right now. Oh, 1,000. So if it's a settlement that you lose, you must gain and generate a ton of grudges against it. Up to our eight total researches. We've got eight total technologies, 1,750 research, Talisman of Preservation, and a Helm of Discord. We've got the 100 plus Age of Reckoning. I was hoping you'd be able to overfill the bar a bit. So we're back down to Elgi, but now we are at Nolan Grom for this age. Let's just go ahead and enter this new age immediately. Evan is back and ready for duty. Welcome back, sir. Your steel crossbows for more really old time reduction. And now we've got finally the mission issued for considering a confederation. We've already confederated one faction. So currently we're for 10 turns, 50 more growth, 5 more control, 50% less upkeep for all of our grudge settler units. And then we should have some scary grudge settlers now. Was this our army? We don't pay for them, and indeed they have a Demon Slayer. So I'm guessing that CA knows about this and it shouldn't be an issue, especially if it's summoning in from our uh, Age of Reckoning army. I can only hope. So we're going to send Dwinbar deep. Look at this squad. I just realized. Three Troll Hammer Torpedoes, Grudge Settlers, three Flame Cannons, three Flame Cannons. 
Age of Reckoning is upon you. Or stealing from Franca Hills. You don't pay for the army. No, you don't. That's That was what I was mostly worried about. This many extremely high tier units would be so expensive. Not this time. You can't level the guy up. So you can't sneak peek at their skill tree. Oh, that's that's very true. That was definitely intended then. So since we have that area completely handled, let's build up our gold a little bit further. Gunsmith's Forge would be awesome too. Gotta wait three more turns there before I decide for that Gunsmith's Forge. Upgrade Black Crag, so I am going to. That would mean more troops here for Rogni then. Speaking of what kind of grudge sellers do we get access to? One of each. That's likely what you're going to get. So at the higher tiers you get, just give you one of the more elite ones. So as you go up in those tiers, you'll still only get one. Which might be a little bit sad, but these are all free units. So troll hammer torpedoes. Welcome. Flame cannons too. I think we have enough front line. These miners need to go. See you lads later. We have use of uh, flame cannons. They're expensive, but look at them. One rag. Yes, this is going to be a decisive victory, but we have to try out the flame cannons. So we're going to encircle, and we are coming up on the... Uh, or a clock, so I'm going to have to go ahead and wrap things up either way. You're so elite, you can have the Aura of Endurance, Mastercrafted Weapon, and the Rune Warded Armor. Because of course you can. Go for Fire Support, increase our research rate total. Siege of Baragdawaz Bag will cross this uh, grudge right off the list. What's the range on these guys? 200? So excited. And actually, we'll, we'll push things out a little bit further because I would like to fight one battle with the Demon Slayer. We need to see what they look like on the map. Since we have one. Alright, so no one really cares what you guys are up to. Let's set up our gyrocopters, that way the enemy cavalry doesn't actually make it in. We'll set up the flame cannons over here. We'll douse them in magma as they cross the choke point here. I to burn these green skins and turn them into charcoal. Aggressively agreed. This is a awesome choke point map here. To set up our oilers on either side. Longbeards with axes and halberds, just in case they try to send anyone round. For the High King. Set the other artillery up behind them. And then we can just go quarrelers with great weapons also here. Blanket the poor fools in doom. Miners on either side, try to get them back so they're not going to get the flame cannons. That would be a nightmare. All have wronged us. Get everyone in their units so I know exactly what's going on, and then get this battle started. Let's move this lot in to deal with these guys as the flame cannons. We'll scoop them up just a bit. They probably have a slightly different model, too, being uh, Rudge Settlers. So I'm betting this little red. Detail work on the sides there. Embellishments. The range ready. As our bomber squad bullies the other team. Go ahead and trench the flame gun so they can actually shoot further. Let's 
try to make sure our bombers don't have any issues. Start bombing the heck out of this group back here. There we go. Are you guys close enough to get shot at by the flame cannons? Almost. You're so lucky. And here they go. They are an airburst version. That is amazing. No, 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 shoot these guys. Oh my. How glorious. These poor green skins. Oh my. Bring more. And then we can hit him with the monstrous impact so they're slowed down as well as getting hit with the uh the burst shot. That is great. There's no way. They can't make it through here. Steven man, it'd be beautiful. I knew you were lurking back there. We just needed to unleash some artillery on some unsuspecting greenskins. This is marvelous. It's just a torrent of flame. Alright, Copter, you come on in and finish them off. We've bullied them long enough. They just keep waddling into the fire. Get these guys next. Truly is a thing of beauty. Oh, I agree. And hit him with some bombs, too. Oh, it's glorious. The dwarves are back. And we still haven't seen all the DLC units either. I'm so excited. It's in this battle. Next, we have to try out that Demon Slayer, so we'll have to wait a turn, and then we can uh, throw hands. Green Nuggets of coal. Two hundred and fifty nine kills for the flame cans. I can't wait to use them on a proper army too. I mean that was just goblins and, and uh, normal orc boys. They they would melt away under the flames, no problem. How do they work against maybe storm vermin or even some chaos warriors? Demon Slayer actually comes up with movement, he should. All of our wa energy here with our throng. But I just realized the Demon Slayer has three of these. Wondrous day. That is going to be an amazing volley. Uh, so we could sack the settlement just for good measure. Absolutely. It actually allows us to claim two sets of grudges. Send me to vengeance. Retake the realm. That's great. You should always sack settlements as the Dawi. Basically, we have become the Greenskins. We'll just move a little bit closer. As long as we walk. As long as we walk. But that armor's heavy, eh? You hear some of his voice lines, too. He looks incredible, doesn't he? Dooms this way. Dooms this way. We don't have any more runic gold. 100% more ammunition for miners? Hello. Let's go for... Extra income from gem cutters and obsidian quarries. I think I like the Toolmaker's Guild a little bit more. It's less income overall, but it's for all of our industry buildings, which we have a little bit more of. Me if you dare. Hopefully we can take down Achendorf with a simple auto-resolve. Nice and easy. This one we will claim. After the Shadows of Change, CA seems to have really got their act together. The I the would agree, at least here for 5.0 and Shadows of Change, or for 5.0 and Thrones of Decay. I am loving all of the changes to the Dawi so far. Good. 
Grimnir's axe first. So no reason to upgrade our new claims. Let's go ahead and come back into Karazakarak. Six more turns before we get a dwarf hold, which is a good call to wait for. Master of Runecraft. That means if anything, let's go for more growth here in Squighorn. And then more troops here with Rugni. So I think we'll give him one of the troll hammer torpedoes. And then. Man, these great weapon quarrelers that with the bonus versus infantry missiles are are goofy strong. Let's get some iron drakes too. The rugby will be iron drakes and troll hammers. And then we can get a couple of frontline Dawi for the road. Yes. Averland is still al they are still alive with three settlements this far into the game. Going to the Empire was uh, doing better for themselves. They are building up some grudges, though. Why? Just for being the Empire? Sorry, Marius. Being crazy is not helping you here. Zephar's almost willing to sign some treaties, but I'm not going to uh, force that one. Oh, I guess we are. Let's hear what you have to say. Go on, then. Send away the Reckoners. Who calls? Order Princes are going to start losing land to Sartosa as well. They've managed to stoke the ire of all of the Savage Works, though. That's impressive. I'll take your money. You have a proposal? Right. To war. Oh, yeah, we'll take your money. It is time. Rekazul's down to two settlements. So they will fall. We will let them build up some grudges for us to claim, too. It's, it's a two-part plan. Create the high place, and we'll get a battle with Windbar. Welcome, King. Armor the High King. Azador, you're not doing very well. We've lost more land. He wants us to join his war against Clan Erictus. Uh, not today, friend. I'm sure that one's going in the book, too. Are they about gun construction? We could just send them after the Forest of Gloom, but that'd be a pretty huge battle. Yes, Rinka Hills is a decisive victory, but let's go see what Dwinbar is capable of. He is a dual axe infantry with bonus versus large. How much? 25, yeah, that sounds about right. With the Wards of Grimnir passive, so each hill he makes will give him more damage resistance, a 20% ward save. He starts with nothing in terms of uh, actual resistances, so as he's killing, he's getting stronger. Interesting. He's going to be very squishy to start. Onward. We'll get one more battle here, no matter how how pitiful these guys are. We're also going to try out our troll hammer torpedoes, too. It's just a good round of weapons testing. No hard feelings, Gabby Eye. It's never a war crime the first time. If he gets focus fired by anything, he will die. Yeah, he absolutely will. Better get those kills. He has what? Two goblin archers? We have flame cannons. Three of them. I have no doubt that this battle is going to lag out our system pretty badly. It already is. Doesn't look like the troll hammer torpedoes actually look any different than the normal. I don't think. Let's come on in here and see. We might have a few more gold bits. These troll hammer torpedoes look terrifying. That's very haphazard. Just this gigantic gun hanging off the top of this little snubby uh, helicopter. Interesting idea. Uh, we're actually going to want our crossbows nowhere near our flame cannons. So let's let the flame cannons hold that line. Demon Slayer can be in the middle. We'll 
take a look at him in a second. Long beards is actually kind of difficult to figure out where we deploy our troops because everything's elite. I normally like having one or two that are less elite for the front line. Have them behind. Then our slayers, just in case anyone gets close. Oh, he looks great, doesn't he? Got a little bits of armor here and there. Now, being a slayer doesn't mean you have to take off all your armor. You're allowed, I think, a chainmail shirt, the uh, very most. I guess these van braces don't cause any issues either. I love the braided beard with the axe handle. Uh, you can't ever have too many axes. Oh, he's ready to mess people up. Let it begin. Control hammer torpedoes, let's see what you're capable of. I'm very excited to see. Go ahead and slow these clowns down. Control hammer torpedoes away. And that's... I mean, is it better than the steam gun? Probably against larger targets than even the wolf riders here. Fire away. They're doing their best to try to dodge the artillery. It's just not going to work for him. And they're gone. Ooh, friendly fire. Get away from that. Let's try out the troll hammer torpedo bombs. Shall we? Shall we? Should be huge. Or not. So what is special about the Trollhammer Torpedo Bomb? Let's find out. Good against large combatants. There's likely an innate bonus for large. Let's see some of this guy's combat animations. You all turn around so you're not hurting him, please. Oh, he's King DDD. Just throw yourself out, I'm not work. A little bit scared of friendly fire there with the flame cannons. Run, Doom Slayer, Demon Slayer, run. He moves very fast for a dwarf, too. Oh, don't retreat. What's your uh, speed? 42? That worked out pretty well. I'm betting this army is not going to do any kind of replenishment. Who gives a dang? Good on you for censoring yourself there, my friend. That was... That was horrifyingly effective. We're losing a few hammerers. Maybe. That's the Demon Slayer. Not getting to fight against anything proper for the likes of a, a true Slayer, but still. He looks awesome. Those poor goblins. That, that whole army got melted. Melted away to nothing. The Dobby got their own wall. They do, and their wall is so much scarier than the Greenskins. There was guaranteed to be full of uh, a demon slayer and all of the grudge settlers. Moku, give us revenge. We'll see, won't we? We again, we haven't gotten to, we haven't gotten to meet your faction yet, Wurzag. So we'll we'll find out once we do. I'm betting though that the complete lack of armor is going to uh, play a huge part in how effective our explosives and flame cannons are going to be. Oh, we will sack Varenka Hills. And you're actually able to claim settlements with these Grudge Settler armies. I was kind of thinking you wouldn't be able to. Awesome. Blood River Valley is secured. His next target is going to be Snorkel Old Weirdy. We'll see if we can't find an army that's too strong for him. Vianoth, you turn round. 
We'll sprint back to Baraklar. Repair, destroy this building in Varanka Hills. And then what else could we go for? There's more growth. Barley field that bragged a while's bag. Looks and sounds good to me. Thor Grim, your job is going to be turning around and moving towards the enemy location, but I think we can move you up into Krasa Crack. Upgrade our troops a bit. We don't have the Longbeards just yet. We could just get in some more Grudge Settlers, to be honest. And we'll get in the Longbeards through Global later on. And we continue our journey. We definitely need a Runesmith, so that's going to be one of the next things we go for. Let's grab, I think, one more Grudge Settler Grudge Thrower. And then we can have ourselves a lovely quest battle here pretty soon, too. Let's go back to Iron Rock. All right. We've reclaimed pretty much all of the original Dwarven lands, except for down to Ekron. So yeah, indeed, Warzag is going to be our next target. Those flame cannons did scorch the rear of those gyrocopters, but that should be pretty easy to buff out. Yeah, hopefully. We'll have to keep in mind that uh, they will still clip yes. units in the air because of that, that airburst style attack. But I think with that... This is about as far as we're going to get for this stream. This far end, we'll finally look at our victory objectives. Destroy Crooked Moon and then complete... Really, complete two legendary grudges for a short campaign? That's a lot. For the long campaign victory, we have to do the short victory campaign, of course. 70 settlements and then four legendary grudges. An additional recruit rank is pretty awesome. Got me get it, Stunty. Fair enough, Orzag. We will meet you in combat here in the next Thorgrim a stream. We will likely kick this up probably next week. Tomorrow, we are either going to be doing Epidemius or I'm going to be playing as Balthazar Gelt. So we will have ourselves another stream about the same time as today. Hope you all are able to make it. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's live stream. Thanks for making this fantastic. We've definitely had the most total viewers of all time here for the channel on a stream, and I can't thank you all enough for that. Hope you all have had a good time checking out the Dobby changes. I'll see you all next time.